Agronet. A woman never belongs to you. It's just your turn. You lost your edge, she lost attraction for you. That's how it works. What'd you think she was going to do? Tell you she cheated? Men cannot afford to get complacent in relationships. Get your fat ass off the couch, start lifting weights and learn game. You're welcome. And now your man, Donovan Sharp. What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the 908th edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of toxic masculinity, misogyny, and small bleep <clears throat> energy. It is Monday, December 26th of 2022. Merry Christmas to you and yours. I hope everybody had a wonderful, safe, and productive Christmas. Um, I know Devin and I, we had a great Christmas. Uh, we went out, uh, had a nice had a nice dinner at a nice restaurant for Christmas, exchanged gifts, and uh, had sex for, I don't know, about a minute and a half. So, uh, so uh, we, had a, we had a really, really, really good Christmas. Um, I ended up staying up until 2.30 because I couldn't sleep for whatever reason. Doesn't matter. But I feel great today. As always, we are multi-streaming live simultaneously to Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, MGTOW.TV, Manosphere.TV, DLive, Rumble, and we are back on Twitter. We are back on Twitter. Uh, Mr. Musk uh, gave your boy an unexpected Christmas gift and rein uh, reinstated my Twitter account, which you can follow, again, at Donovan's Den, at Donovan's Den, at Donovan's Den. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible. Uh, shout out to Ed Lattimore for making me aware of this. He actually sent me the link to my Twitter page. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Christmas came on time. Christmas came on time. You know how that goes. We are also streaming in crystal clear high resolution 4K to Sharp Stream, which is absolutely free on the App Store, the Google Play Store for iOS and Android. So however you're watching, wherever you're watching from, thank you for making the Sharp Reality Live a part of your daily routine. We're going to get right into this, but um, uh, uh, I, have, I have one quick announcement. It's actually a quick personal announcement. So I'm downstairs. And I can't sleep. I'm watching. I'm watching a thirty for thirty documentary. Uh, I'm watching a thirty for thirty documentary on the Black Widow, Jeanette Lee, pool player, extraordinaire. And you know, I'm you know when 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 I'm feeling pretty good when I take an edible, I like to watch document. I like to watch things on TV and then look it up. Like if I see someone on TV, I'll look them up. So I'm watching you know Jeanette Lee, the Black Widow, on ESPN's thirty for thirty, and I. Google Jeanette Lee. And I'm noticing that the the writing is a little bit blurry. And it has been for a while. I'm farsighted, guys. I'm farsighted. My 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 vision is starting <laughs> is beginning to fail me. I'm one of these guys who now has to hold the phone out a little further when I actually want to read something. Uh, so Father Time, uh, Father Time appears to be catching up with your boy. Um, hey, it's a part of life. It is what it is. So uh, shout out to my uh, future optometrist. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to get. I'm going to have to get some new spectacles because I am now, I am now far sighted, which means I can only see afar. You guys know, you guys know how that goes. But um, at any rate, it is good to have you guys in here. Um, I am, uh, dude. I am, I am absolutely elated to be back. I took the week off, more or less, just to kind of recharge, you know, reset myself. Um, my schedule this week, um, I'll be here tomorrow. I'll be here today, tomorrow, possibly the next day. I might take an extended weekend. Uh, but uh, the new year, I will be hitting the round running with my uh, with my regular uh, increased uh, work schedule. Um, shout out to MLD, who just had episode 600 today. 600 today, uh, so congratulations to MLD. Uh, yeah, Johnny Green says Donovan is legally blind. Yep, yep, yes, yes. I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not completely blind, and I can, I can still read small stuff. I just can't. I just like if, if I have my phone like this, I can read it, but it's just a little blurry. And the first, oh yeah, just like that. I said, oh my god, oh my god, that's it. I'm starting. I'm, I'm, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. So. It is what it is, man. You know, um, you know, I am aging gracefully, as they say. 
and uh, it should be a whole lot of fun. Uh, let's do some housekeeping here before we get started. Dr. B84, <laughs> member for thir 33 Marcos, months. Marcos. Says 33 months up in the TSR family. That's right, man. Almost three years for Dr. B84. I appreciate that support. Uh, shout out to Alvin Sam with the $2 super chat. Says, this will be a field day for Donovan. And with that said, <clears throat> on to the main event we go. Shout out to, shout out to Pearl for her meteoric rise to success. Uh, what she is, what she is doing, what she is accomplishing, is, it's, 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 it is absolute. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible. She's going to hit nine hundred thousand subscribers before the end of this year. I think she picked up another seven to ten thousand subscribers between yesterday and today. Like she's, dude, she is on a, she is on a runaway train, and she is not hitting the brakes. This woman managed to get Brittany Renner and Andrew Tate in the same room at the same time. In the same room at the same time, and it's absolutely magical. It was It's absolutely magical. Yeah, Vaughn said Pearl had 56,000 in the live chat. I mean, it's just, it is, it is, it is shocking. Like, it is, it is, it is shocking how quickly this has happened for her. And make no mistake, you guys, Make no mistake, she deserves this success. She, Dude, she has worked her ass off. She's hired the right people. She's put the right people around her, between her managers, the people she employs, her producer. Everything everything that she is, has accomplished right now is a well-oiled machine to the tune of over a million views on a video she posted yesterday. A million views on the video she posted yesterday. It is, I mean, it's it's absolutely incredible. I rem, Dude, I will never, ever forget this. Dude, a year ago, nobody knew who this chick was. Nobody knew who this chick was. Pearl decided to give it a whirl, and I, and I was on the phone with her every day for a good two or three weeks, explaining to her how to set up cameras and how to hook this up and sound and this and that. She took the ball. She ran with it. She took the ball. She ran with it. I, 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 I have a massive surplus of equipment. I sent her I sent her a bunch of equipment to get her started. I gave her some equipment at the CME2 which was held in Miami uh, this past May and uh she has she has she has never looked back. She was one uh, there was one there was one time a few months back where she actually called me she says Donovan, I don't know if I can do this. I'm thinking about quitting. I've got school, I've got volleyball. This is really hard. I said Pearl, you have a gift. I said you do something. I said you are very good at doing something that most people are not good at doing and that is talking to complete strangers on the street. I said, just keep at it. I said, just give it another month. I said, give it another month. Don't slack. Like, go all in for another month. And now we're here. Now we're here. Now we've got 50, 56,000 people in a live chat. She's met Dave Chappelle. She knows, you know, she knows Andrew Tate. Brittany Renner is going to go to wife school. Um, it's, it's an unbelievable success story. Uh, very similar to Fresh and Fit, to be honest with you. Very similar to Fresh and Fit. Really, the only difference between Pearl and Fresh and Fit is, uh, as Myron never had any quit in him. He knew what once he made the decision to go forward. That was all she wrote. This isn't to say that you know Donovan thought Pearl was no, 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 no. Pearl and Myron, very two very very different people. They're two very very different people. <clears throat> once Myron made up his mind, he decided to go. He decided to go. But I'm very, I'm extremely proud of Pearl. Um, I, I'm, I'm glad that, um, I'm glad that I was able to, and, and, and again, and again, I didn't, I didn't, she actually, and, and this is something that Pearl and Myron do have in common. When Myron and Fresh took off, Myron was on the six. He was on my panel, the six, and he was increasingly less available as was Kevin Samuels. I've told those guys, I said, hello, yo, look, check this out. I gave you guys a platform to give you guys a jump start. I don't expect you to, you don't owe me anything. You don't have to come and make an appearance on the 6. No, uh-uh, sorry, no. Get out of here. Do what you got to do. My, dude, Myron apologized, apologized to me all the time. Dude, I wish I could do weights and dates. I said, dude, you guys are on a rocket ship. <laughs> I'm good. You take care of you. I'll be all right over here. Well, it's the same thing with Pearl. I had the Not All Women podcast. Uh, I was the host. Who is it? Uh, Devin, Pearl, Ali, Janelle. The Not All Women podcast. 
I had Pearl. Pearl was very, very good on the podcast. She, once again, when she started getting more subscribers, Donovan, I'm sorry, I can't really be on. I said, Pearl, dude, you do you. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. In the end, before I get, but in the end, uh, really, uh, being a successful podcaster, podcaster, um, it's about relationships, guys. That's really what this comes down to. Uh, you guys know that I've been through a lot in my podcasting career, but the reason why, the reason, oh, Tulula. That's exactly right. I always forget about Tulula for whatever reason. Yes, shout out to Tulula. But the, <clears throat> but the reason why I'm still around is because I have good relationships with, with talented people. I don't stab people in the back. I don't burn people. I don't expose people. I don't create fake documentaries. No, I have a circle. I have a I have a circle of friends, and not all of them like each other. Hey, Amen. That's part of life. That's part of life. That is absolutely a part of life. But take it from me: if you want to be successful in the content creation game, the key is always the relationships you build within the community. If you don't make, if you don't, if you don't create good, solid relationships with people. You don't have a chance. You cannot do this alone, guys. You absolutely cannot do this alone. You can't. You can't. We all need somebody to help us out, push us along, et cetera, et cetera. So shout out to Pearl for her uh, for her deserved success. Um, I think I speak for everybody when I say uh, I am very, very proud of what she has accomplished. Jay Blaze uh, with the $2 Super Chat says, Donovan is a kingmaker. Ah, shucks. Ah, shucks. I don't know. I just I I I have an eye. I have an eye for talent. Uh, Karen C with the ten dollars super chat says, "I love Pearl, and as a black woman, I know that she has earned everything she has." Absolutely. With that said, <laughs> here we go. What up, guys? Welcome to the Just Pearly Things YouTube channel, and welcome to the pregame. <laughs> Before I start, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell that we are- Dude, Tate was not here for the applause. We're going to be notified of my daily videos. Like, like the video on your way in. We have a special panel tonight. Yes. But before we get to that, a couple announcements before we start the show. The first is that we have two clips channels, Just Pearly Clips and Pearl Daily. Make sure you go subscribe to both of those. Sign up for our membership Tears, follow me on Instagram, and thank you for 800K, and thank you for 100 episodes. All right, guys, let's take a quick second and hear from our channel sponsor. Identity theft in America is skyrocketing. Oh, wow. Uh, Pearl is doing it right. Getting U.S. consumers reported roughly 588,000 cases of identity uh, theft. Yeah, um, get, your, get, your, uh, get your identity. Get your identities protected, guys. Get your identities uh, protected. And have everyone on the panel introduce introduce yourself. Say your name, your age, your relationship status, where you're from, and just a little bit about you. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is great. Pearl basically just gave us the uh, the fresh intro. So, ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, relationship status, and if you want to, and then Pogson, com Pogson comes in. Goodbye, account. This is great. I love it. Um, why don't we start here? Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Brittany Renner. I am 30 years old. I'm single as a Pringle. I have a one-and-a-half-year-old son, Oof. and I'm here to learn something new today. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 30 years old, year-and-a-half son, no less. Single as a Pringle. ay ay ay. I'll, oh. I'll help you with that. <laughs> nah, here That's we why go. Brought me. <laughs> Damn. Well, sir, they brought me. Look at Brittany. Brittany can't help herself. She is already turned on. She's already turned on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Don't. Oh, come on. Come on. Andrew. Like, Andrew, we can't be. Today. Watch your body language. Watch. I'll, I'll help you with that. Watch. <laughs> That's why they brought me. <laughs> Yes, Brittany is tickled pink. Brittany is tickled pink. Damn. Well, sir, they brought me here to look for trouble. It's the now with the troublemaker. You thought she oh, couldn't you found do it, it. she did it. Here she is. I am freshly 30. I am oh, single, mm, not ready to mingle yet. And something interesting about me. Well, I'm a smart woman. I'm here to... See if Mr. Take can look. Yeah, this is cute. Anytime a woman has to say, look, man, check this out. Check this out. Your 
your credentials, you don't, you shouldn't have to say your credentials. If you're smart, you don't have to say you're smart. If you have a big sausage, you don't walk around saying you have a big sausage. If you're rich, you don't have to walk around saying you're rich. So, I mean, I've, I've never even heard of this woman, but. Something from me. Oh. <sighs> Sagittarius, Sagittarius, oh relax, please. Be nice, oh be nice. God. Come on, I wasn't oh rude. God. Oh my <laughs> God, already. I don't even, we, dude, who, did anybody catch her name? Did anybody catch her name? The look on, uh, the look on Andrew's face is just, dude, this is the look. If standing in the batter's box with a count of 3-1 and you know the pitcher's going to throw you a fastball has a look, you are, you are, you are looking at that. You're looking at that. This is this is an absolute layup. This is first. This this is a layup with nobody watching. This is a penalty shot in soccer. Penalty shot in hockey. This is this is fourth and one for Jalen Hurts and the Eagles. This is T-ball. Tate, thirty-six years old. I cannot disclose personal information because, of course, my enemies are after me. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm here to educate, as I always am. Perhaps somebody will say something remotely insightful, but. Uh, at least I get a Clementine, if not, so <laughs> I'm chilling with my orange. And it's your girl. Clementines are good, by the way. Esther, the Nigerian queen. I'm here oh to oh entertain, boy. to disagree. With Auntie Jenny does not look impressed. Auntie Jenny does not look impressed. I can't wait to meet Auntie Jenny when we go to London next year. I can't wait. I can't wait. There's somebody in here. <laughs> Oh, Auntie, she's oh, really, at you. really. <laughs> uh, it, it, cur uh, I'm not really sure what's happening with the, with the sitting stance, with the Nigerian queen. Um, she appears to be sitting with her legs open. Not really sure. Not really sure what's going on there. But hey, to each her own. I am <laughs> looking at somebody. It's her but... favorite duo. It's her favorite <laughs> duo. <laughs> but no, for real though, I'm just here to have a good time. Just, yeah, get some Dude, vibes. Auntie Jenny is chilling. And in terms of my relations, relationship status, I am single, doing interviews. I'm not just going for anybody. But yeah, uh, that's how it is. Oh, single. Just, oh, okay. So I guess uh, the Nigerian queen is, uh, she's doing interviews. I guess she's looking for somebody. Okay. Auntie Jenny here, 54. I'm here to cut out the bullshit. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Okay. Oh, there it is, dude. You, dude, you knew Tate was gonna like Auntie Jenny. You already knew, dude. Thank you, guys. That you do. <laughs> yeah, well, you have to cut the bullshit. That's the problem with the world today. Oh, so uh, here we bullshit. go. And here we go. Direct. If they got something to say to you, just say it. Absolutely. Why are you don't being mean already? Be I don't really say care. It. If you oh. got something to say, just say it. Don't nah. beat around the bush. Just say it. So basically, if I got I'll something say to say, just say it. Just say it. Hey, Auntie, I beg, give the girl a chance to speak now. Whoa! 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 Wow! Whoa! Whoa! The fireworks. Yo, the fireworks have already started. Woo! Wow. What I said? This okay. What have I said? I'm addressing the elephant what in the room. What have I said? Oh, my oh, goodness. Listen, I don't believe in no elephants in the room. If up, there's but... something to say, just say it. Don't beat around the bush. Oh. If you've got something to say to me, I am here. Talk to my face. There should be no elephant in the room because this ain't no zoo. You understand? Yo! Auntie Jenny! Auntie Jenny came out swinging! Oh, my God! <laughs> Auntie Jenny's like, yo, check this out. Check this out. I don't do this passive aggressive nonsense. If you got something to say, say it to my face. Auntie, dude, Auntie Jenny came out gunning. Holy moly. Boy, this is gonna be better than I thought. Uh, so if you got something to say, just say it. We're me? all big No, I'm just saying, we're just all big people here. So if okay. I wanna say something to you, I'm gonna say something to you straight like I normally do. <laughs> yes. If I got something to say to Esther, I'm gonna tell Esther. Whether she likes it or not, I don't really Ooh. care. Andrew Tate, my son's older than him, so I don't give a damn who he is. I'm gonna just say what I've got to say. So whoever don't like it, that's come. Don't come. You should be missed out Brittany. I oh feel my picked god. On. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> okay, so um And Brittany too, right? He, he Yo, Auntie Jenny came out. Yo, Auntie Jenny, Jenny came out with the AK-47. Like, yo, she's spraying. Yo, she's got the Uzis. But she's spraying everybody. God damn. Pearl too. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> she's, I got something for you too, Auntie, Auntie gave me um, 
Auntie was yelling at me in wife school the other day. Oh, she, she doesn't give a shit. Um, <laughs> okay, so my first question is, what is the number one problem facing men today? Oh, and what boy. is the number one problem oh. facing women oh, today? Oh, my God. Wow. Can you say something? The... Come on, ladies. Let's do it. Let's do it. The, the, the number one problem. Ask all the questions. Come on, tell The me. number one problem with men is that they don't tell women the truth. And the number one Woo! problem with women is that they can't, they can't handle the truth. Simple. Oh, my God. And the reason why men don't tell women the truth is because women can't handle the truth. Myron talks about this on Fresh and Fit all the time. He talks about this on Fresh and Fit all the time. Men have to lie to modern women to get anywhere with them. Women are always bitching and moaning about, oh my God, guys are such liars and I want a guy to be honest. There's just one problem. You don't want us to be honest. How do we know this? Because you reward us for lying to you. It's incredible. That, that's a good that's a good paradigm to start from because it's actually very interesting you say that. A lot of women say, I just want a man who's honest. And then the second you're honest, she's like, what? Jesus fucking Christ. Like, dude, like me and Tate, kindred spirits already. Uh, Vic Bynum, welcome to Check Privileges. At Vic Bynum to welcome him to the TSR family. Uh, Vic, if you would, put your age and location in the chat. Uh, Dr. B84 with the $10 super chat. Nigerian queen equals I am a 100 slash 10 with my PhD career. Go sit down somewhere and shut up. I think I would agree. You did exactly. lie. It's like, well, then don't ask me for honesty. Of course, <laughs> I fucking go. lie. Thank you. Yep. There you go. So that's a good. That's a good. See, girls are like, be honest with me, be real with me. But as soon as you tell them, look, you know what? I don't want to be in a relationship with you anymore. Oh my god, you asshole! Point. I agree with that one. Mm. That, I don't think it's the biggest problem, but it certainly is a problem in relationships today. That is a problem. The biggest problem with men today is that I think the world is becoming hyper competitive. Most men are not aware and understanding of how quickly there's going to be a genuine shift in between those who have things right. and those who do not have things. Right. Not just finances, but also female status, everything else. And it's a status game, right? And it's becoming harder and harder for men to play. Wow. <laughs> and that's all women's fault, of course. <laughs> because No, but it is because women choose the winners, right? Women yep. choose who the high status males that's right. are. That's it. So women pretend to give a shit about men of course they don't they, they give a shit about themselves and and and, and, a, and, a, and a woman oh and a woman when she, and a woman a woman if you ask her no andrew is right but <clears throat> i don't i'm not upset with women for not caring about men at least not at least not initially a lot of men feel some type of way that women don't care about our problems no women women can't care about our problems and they shouldn't they shouldn't Women have their own problems to worry about. Okay, men, don't listen. Don't go looking for sympathy from women. Yes, women are nefarious and they're they're 304s and they're bimbos and they're selfish and this and that and the other. Don't worry about them being selfish. Don't expect women to feel sorry for you. Women are if a woman feels sorry for you, if a woman pities you, she doesn't respect you. What she wants from a man, she's like, I don't want much. I just want to find a nice man who's a millionaire and six foot tall and funny and charismatic <laughs> and interesting and spontaneous and looks after me and doesn't cheat. And, and is funny and good looking and strong. I don't want much. Like they, they yeah. name all this shit that most dudes are never going to have. And it's becoming harder and harder. And you end up with people, top G's who own everything on the planet they could ever possibly wish for. And then you've got other guys who have nothing. And you're, there's this large divide. There's no longer any middle ground. You have dudes who can't get any pussy, and then you got dudes who are just blocking girls left, right, and center. There you go. And that's what the problem with being a man is today. And what's caused this is social media. <clears throat> social media has flattened the world. Back in the day, the only options a woman had before the internet were the men that she already knew, the men in and around her town. Every once in a while, she'd go travel. Maybe she'd travel abroad. Maybe she goes to another state. Maybe she moves. But women generally had just the men in their, in their geographical proximity. Well, thanks to the smartphone, women now have access to literally every man in the world. And as such, women have a two-pronged mentality that has destroyed the dating system. Number one, they think there is always going to be someone better than they have. And number two, there's always going to be another dude. It doesn't matter how high your value is. A woman is always going to be looking to upgrade. At least women like Brittany Renner and whoever this woman is in the middle. What about the women? Yeah. What about them? Well, I, well, I would say... I'll I, tell you, I'll tell you, well, I'll everybody's no, 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 no. Yo, Auntie Jenny is... Yo, dude, Auntie Jenny is... She's a freaking machine gun. Chance to talk. I'm going to shut up and have my Clementine. No, I want to know. I no. want to know. I want to learn from you, sir. You want to learn from me? Well, I, yes, wanna, sir. Well, I okay. wanted to answer. I feel like it goes for both. It's not just one or the other. There I feel go. like it's self-accountability. Definitely. Mm. Women are not accountable for themselves. I agree with you there. Why 100%. just women, though? What it's about both. men? It's yeah, both. It is definitely both. both. Yeah. It is both. You're right. But 
Society punishes men for not being self-accountable. Society does not punish wow. women for not being self-accountable. I'll give you an example. Let's if you're a man it. and you're arrogant and you think you're something when you're not, trust me, society will teach mm. you very quickly that you don't matter when you don't yes. get laid and you stay a fucking brokey. If you're a chick and think you're something when you're not, you can run around with your ego, still get dates, still get laid, still have a fairly sensible social life. Society <laughs> as a whole doesn't come along and them. slap you in the face with realizations. If you're a man and you think you're something you're not, it is a ticking time bomb until you know society it. teaches you a lesson. That's the difference. This is why men in general are more self-accountable because the men who are not self-accountable get fucked up. So those who are successful are very self-accountable people. They look at themselves and go, okay. This is an excellent point that Andrew is, is talking about. And Myron talks about this as well. We as men, we are forced to live in reality, okay? If we don't make the cut, the world lets us know. But the world doesn't let women know. A woman could be overweight, she could be as dumb as a box of rocks, not have accomplished anything in life, have three kids, but the world still tells her that she is a high-value woman. Women like Cheyenne Reynolds, you guys, you know Cheyenne Reynolds? Women, women like Cheyenne Reynolds, who think they're high-value women just because they happen to be attractive and have a British accent, but she's also a baby mama, no. She belongs to the streets. But Cheyenne Reynolds doesn't realize that she belongs to the streets because the world isn't honest with women about who and what they really are. This is why the average woman has a has much more confidence and a much bigger ego than the average man. Just like Andrew said, if you're a man and you ain't shit, the world will very the world will let you know that you ain't shit every chance that every chance it gets. That's how this works. But if you're a woman and you ain't shit, you don't suffer the same consequences. I think we need to start calling a lot of these women like Cheyenne Reynolds, uh, Brittany Renner. I think we need to start calling them what they really are. If there was a guy, if there was a guy who lived at home with his mom, 360 pounds, lazy, plays video games, smokes weed, what do we call that guy? Well, we call him a loser, right? <clears throat> we call him a loser. Well, what do we call a woman who bangs a bunch of NBA guys and rappers has a kid, divorces her, divorces her husband. She basically, she basically preyed on him, took advantage of a, a young man who literally didn't know any better. If Brittany Renner were Brian Renner, Brian Renner would probably be in jail. Think about it. Think about the situation. Just think about that situation. Let's say that Brittany Renner were a Brian. Let's say Brittany Renner were Brian Renner. Right? <clears throat> 26-year-old Brian Renner starts dating, I don't know, uh, P. A PJ Tucker, uh, you know, at the University of Kentucky. Paula Jean Tucker at the University of Kentucky. She's 18 years old. What would we be saying about what would we be saying about Brian Renner? Oh my God, he's a predator. Why is that grown man after that little girl? Oh my God, she's so sweet and innocent. I can't believe he is preying on her. Brittany Renner does the exact same thing. Has a kid with this dude. Shits out a kid, then writes then writes a book, a memoir talking about her sex appades with people from, from with people in the industry. Okay, which takes me back to the to, to the guy that lives at home with his mom. What do we call those guys? We call them losers. We call them losers. Most modern women today are losers. Most modern women don't have even a remedial sense of self. They're vapid, they're immature, they're not accountable. And we have all of these fancy, frilly little names for them, but we don't call them what they really are. A loser. Cheyenne Reynolds is a loser. I don't care what anybody says. Brittany Renner is a loser. The woman in the middle of the couch, I haven't heard her speak yet. She's probably a loser. This Nigerian queen, whatever, she is a loser. It's time to start calling women what they really are. If you are the typical average modern woman who dates around, who where every relationship overlaps with one another, you're always every time you're pursuing a guy, there's always somebody else on the hook with the branch swinging, then you are a loser. If you are a 24-year-old woman who sleeps around and you have no interest in getting married, you are a loser. It's time to start calling these women what they are, 
losers. Okay, the only way I'm going to get and progress further, the reason she left me, the only way I'm going to do better, make more money, et cetera, et cetera, is I have to change. Most women don't want to do that. They don't sit and think, I have to change. They think, oh, he left me because it's him, and I lost my job because my boss, and this is this because of this. They, no, you, you women don't look in the mirror and nope. change a fucking thing. Nope. They Ever. Don't, they, no, because Ever. don't forget what you're forgetting right nowadays. They can't change it because it's all about body positivity. Oh, they oh, can look here sexy we go. at a size 28. Are you saying Lizzo's not a 10? <laughs> Are you guys trying to get me canceled? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not gonna lie. Tate's already canceled. I don't agree with what you just said uh -oh. because 90% of cosmetic surgery is by women. Women are trying to change. Not by women, it's for women. Oh my God. As much as possible. Men don't want to change. They're not accountable oh, no. for themselves. Oh, they Where? think that because because they're a man, you're going to be attracted to them. No, like you can you can't be fat. You stay at home. You're just playing video games, and you expect a woman to want to fuck you. No, she's not going to want to fuck you. Yeah, but then she. But here's here's the problem. The losers at home, the losers at home that live with their mothers, they know girls don't want to fuck them. That's the difference. See, this is the difference between men and women. The loser at home who lives with his mom, he knows he's a loser. He knows girls don't want to fuck him. But the girl who's also a loser, the 26-year-old with three kids by three different by three different dudes, she doesn't think she's a loser. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Nope. She still thinks she deserves a high-value man. Dung is fun. $2 super chat says, Merry Christmas, man, and a Happy New Year. Appreciate that very much. Thank you. You won't. This is the point. And, 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 and then she won't, and society will teach them a lesson. They might be able to pull off a little blag with a girl for a year or so, but in general, they're going to end up lonely. In general, they're going to struggle to find partners. I agree with you with the cosmetic surgery exactly. thing. Women are happy to change how their appearance and change how they look, but they're not happy to change how they act, Same. most of them. Here's the thing. Cosmetic surgery is a shortcut for women. Cosmetic surgery is a shortcut for women. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? If you want to improve yourself to be more attractive, that's fine. There is no, there isn't enough cosmetic surgery for a man to increase his value. You can look as good as you want to look. If you're a loser, women are going to sniff that out. Um, they're not yes, happy they to change. Are. No, they're not. The women are changing we... what the men don't care about. The men don't care about the big old lips. Yes, they do. And the, no, no, they do it. No, they, oh, dude, listen. The only cosmetic surgery I'm in favor of are fake tits and maybe liposuction. But dude, these, dude, these women with these, with these 60 inch booties, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. It looks stupid. You look like a clown. The women are doing that for themselves. Yeah. Because the men don't care about it. The men mm. would rather a woman change her stinking attitude than put on all that makeup and hair and everything. That's what the men want. But the women will go out there like, oh, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change that. If you look at a man and the man said, yeah, he's fat. The man will most, if he's feeling bad about himself, he wants to make sense. He'll go and hit the gym. What's the woman going to do? Go and do Get a BBL. Get her lips done. Put on her makeup. Put on her hair. <laughs> and stay the big old fat person that she is and say, oh, it's body positivity. The men don't even want that. And that's, <laughs> the women, Yo, Tate loves it. They are not getting all this cosmetic surgery for the men. She's They're right. getting it for themselves. Right. You've got to turn around. Dude, uh, yo, i got to give her Don DeMarco for that. Don DeMarco. She's absolutely right. And I will add something else. I'll add something else. The reason why women rush to get cosmetic surgery and and extend and hair extensions is because that's the easy way. That is the shortcut. That's the shortcut for women. They want that shortcut. But do you want to know why? Do you want to know why women go and get cosmetic surgery? It's because they're not interested in changing themselves from within. No amount of cosmetic surgery is going to change your attitude. Just because you just because your just just because your boobs are a little bigger doesn't mean you're going to be any less insufferable. What man wants a woman that's going to turn around, go and have an operation, and can't sit on a plane because her ass has been injected or been interfered with? She oh got to lie there on her stomach. You think the men want oh that? My or God, wake up dude. in the morning before you got to hit the house? She's got to put on. I'm sure I worried about some of the men because they must go out with a woman. Ooh. And then when they wake up in the morning, they think, who the hell is she? The skull, By the time the you take fish. everything off, women need to change their attitudes before they change their makeup. I'm sure oh that my if, God. even more than that, change your attitude. Because women, women have got there and they want to change mm. this, they want to change that, all the things that don't count. Woo! If you learn to, the same way how women can go out there and learn to put makeup on, learn to cook. Oh. Learn to wash by hand. Oh. Learn oh. to please that, a man. That is so oh, that's what you girl. need to do. That's outdated, girl. <laughs> said, oh, and there's Brittany Renner talking about that's outdated, girl. Yeah, that's that's funny that Britney is the one that says that's outdated. Bitch, you're single and you belong to the streets. That's outdated, really? Girl. That's outdated. <laughs> She's right. For who? 
I'm saying it's like you're. We had literally just talked about this off camera when we when you guys picked mm -hmm. up from the airport when we were talking about. Oh, what are, what's the value system or the point system for a woman who cooks versus a, a woman who can uh, suck good dick and fuck well? But you can like, cook and suck dick as well. No, but, but, I'm, but I'm saying is, is that Pearl, if you can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, quoting her was that in, when she interviewed people on the street, that there was more points given to something for, like a sexual return as opposed uh, to, oh, wash dishes by hand. Uh, there's a see, here's the difference. See, see, now, see, now, 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 Brittany's getting all in her feelings. Gentlemen, there is a big difference. There is a big difference between sexual market value and relationship market value, okay? Brittany Renner has high sexual market value, but she has no relationship market value, which is why she's single. Women like Brittany Renner, and Brittany now understands this. It's taken her all of these years to figure this out. But ladies, just because a man wants to fuck you does not mean he wants to commit to you. Let me repeat that. Just because a man wants to fuck you does not mean he wants to commit to you. Women foolishly believe that all the men that want to fuck them must also want to wife them up. That is almost never the case. And so for Britney to sit here and just sort of nonchalantly talk about the fact that that's outdated, that's cute of her to say and all, but this is why she's single. Britney Renner is single because A, she is a loser, and B, she has no relationship market value. Cam Newton famously told Britney to her face, I'm not fucking with you because I don't want to end up in a book. It's over for her. It's over for her. Devin in the chat says, men don't care if Britney can cook. Her reputation already categorizes her. That's exactly right. And oh, by the way, let's, took a, let's, take, a look at, uh, let's take a look at the lovely and not so talented Cheyenne Reynolds. Cheyenne Reynolds calls herself a high value woman. She calls herself a high value woman. She thinks she deserves a good man. Yet she is literally showing us her vagina on the internet. Literally. She is showing us her vagina on the internet. As I say all the time, the more skin a woman shows, the less she has to offer. Dishwasher, no. white cook, we can eat out. There's a chef. The people don't get, they don't give a fuck about that. That's what they. Oh boy, see, see, she thinks that we don't give a fuck about that. That's the problem. Now that's how, and Brittany is sitting here. It's so funny. Think about what's happening here. Brittany is trying to school Auntie on what men want. She just told Auntie that men don't give a fuck about a woman who can cook. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Brittany? Like you are the last person to, you are the you, dude. You're the last person anyone should be should be listening to in terms of what men want. Now listen, you know what men want between the sheets. That's for sure. That, dude, absolutely. Look, look, Brittany, dude, Brittany, she can suck and fuck with the best of them. Please believe. But if you ask her to go, uh, 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 uh maybe cook a souffle, bake a cake, maybe grill a steak. All of a sudden, it's crickets. Thing, but, no, 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 yeah. no, but we and literally just talked you, about this no, yesterday. No, it was okay. I did a street interview and I asked the guys, "Would you rather have a girl that gave good head or a good cook?" And most guys, they want like, this. Uh, but I think that's <laughs> for more, the I quick think, but satisfaction. I think, but I think that's more for like a one night stand. But, but what I'm trying to say term. is that if you mm -hmm. all the women out there and they're talking about, well, some of the women want to be settled down. They want a man. Right, and you gotta think what the man wants. The man, right. man is interested in that. Look at when you when you're doing street interviews, you're interviewing single people. Mm -hmm. Look at the people there that are happily married and ask them what they do, because all the things that the women out there are doing, you can be a housewife, you can be going out, you can suck head just as good as any old tramp on the street, and keep your man and there have a man. <laughs> and I can say that because I'm 32 years in counting. Auntie, you can't say Wait, attraction is not I important. Talking to your mic. Talking to your mic you can't say attraction is not important, though. It is initially, important. For you to get, initially. No, initially, exactly. You, a, a man is not, not going to find you attractive and then think, oh, because you, you, you can cook well. It's got a chef. A man's going to find man you attractive and he's going to... Okay, gonna, let's, let's ask Andrew. He's gonna, Andrew, is, he, 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 would gonna, you be with a guy... Oh, my God. Imagine that. Let's ask Andrew Tate. Let's ask Andrew, the, 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 who is a, a top half percent man, what he wants in a woman. This will be very interesting to hear this. Uh, Alvin Sam, to, uh, $5 Super Chat, says, uh, During her interview with Myron, Cheyenne admitted she wants a man with modesty, but her IG says otherwise. Cheyenne want, dude, Cheyenne doesn't want a man with, honest, uh, with, uh, with modesty. Cheyenne wants a baller. That's what she wants. Uh, right away with the $5 Super Chat says, As you continue to watch Britney nearly come to tears, a recent... Time, a recent times if you watch closely okay girl that's five out of ten because she can cook <laughs> that ain't what i said oh well, firstly that's not what she said to be fair and to secondly i'd be with the 10 out of 10 who can cook because i'm top g but <laughs> to make the point i think what you have to understand is 
what men are looking for in a relationship. So you did the the street interview, and mm-hmm. you're asking single people, probably young people, probably idiots who know they're on camera talking shit about good head, all this garbage. There you That's go. Bullshit. Right. Right. What men are interested in in life, not just in their relationship, but in their life as a whole is. Look at Renner. Brittany is actually paying close attention. Look at the difference in the body language. The woman in the middle, she, dude, she is not interested in hearing anything Andrew has to say. I want to learn from you, blah, 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 blah. No, she was, she was here to fight. She was here to fight and to make an ass of herself and just to try to look at me. I went toe to toe with Andrew Tate, but take a look at Brittany. Take a look at Brittany. It looks like she might actually be taking him seriously here. Status. I don't think most people understand, especially women, how competitive the male world is and how competitive it is for status. This is why men do everything they do. Men buy the faster car, not to drive any faster because of status. It's why we want a bigger house. We don't give a shit where we live. It's because of status. It's why I want to go to the gym and get big and strong because of status. Everything we do is about status. It's why I want the better jobs. It's why I want more money. It's why I want to be respected. Wow. So what's the number one thing we want our female to give us? Status. That's what we want. So she can give us status by being beautiful. That's one thing she can do. Mm. But another thing she could do is if I turn up home and I come home with my boys and she says, I'll Uh cook you all a steak. Oh, my God. status. Oh, wow. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You bring your homeboys to the crib, and your woman says, hey, I'm going to make you guys a steak dinner. Your boys are looking at you like, oh, shit. You got a real one. That's all my boys going, Ross, you just been out all night, and she's here, and she's going to cook for all of us, and she'll clean up and tidy up. Boom. That's the kind of girl a man's not going to want to lose because it makes Bingo. him look good. That That's what men want. Status. Suck a dick, blah, blah, blah. Listen, dick can only be sucked in so many ways. I, I mean, right? <laughs> No, and no, let's be serious about this. Have this you is, had the Gok Gok 3000? No no, 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 this is actually a serious point, right? This is a very serious point because the Western world has collapsed in real time. And it's- Check this out. Um, I'll divert here quickly. Sex is important for men, but what we have to understand is that the majority of your relationship is not spent having sex. If you're really, really good, let's just say you're really good at sex. What are you fucking, half an hour a day? Tops? Maybe? What about the other 23 and a half hours, right? I think that's where women get it wrong. Women are prepared. Women, modern women, modern women focus on the, on the half an hour of, of a 24 hour day and not focusing on the other 23 and a half hours. Okay, great. Great. You got the got, got 3000. You can give head. You take it, you know, you, you, you can do all this. Listen, you can make my eyes roll back and my toes curl at the same time. Great. Awesome. You're attractive. Awesome. But. What do you bring to my life the other 23 and a half hours? If the answer is crickets, then we we can't kick it. This is why men have women in situationships, because women are no good outside of their sexual allure. That's it. And Brittany, and Brittany wonders why men fuck her and chuck her, because she's not good for anything but an ass and maybe some fun. Brittany is the modern-day superhead, guys. She is. I don't know if she knows that yet, but Brittany Renner is going to... Dude, Superhead is Brittany Renner in, what, 10 years? 10, 15 years. But she still wants to sit here and talk about, well, that's outdated. There's precious little evidence of that, Ms. Renner. It's a failed society, and one of the reasons it's a failed society is because of the over-sexualization, especially of females as a whole. If a woman comes up to me and goes, I'll be the best sex you ever had... I am fucking revolted. Big deal. I don't want the best Big sex deal. I've ever had. I want you to be pure and a virgin. You shouldn't know what sex is. Cook my fucking dinner. Shut up. Don't, hey. talk, don't come and talk to me about fucking sucking dick. It's vile. It's disgusting. I don't want to hear that shit. Can I say something? I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> uh, what, what I- oh, boy. Here we go. What? What? my Listen, my womanese students who are in the chat, my womanese students, you guys who have watched me for a while, anytime the words, can I say something, comes out of a woman's mouth, you know it's about to be some bullshit. When a woman raise her hand, can I say something? You already know it's about to be some bullshit. Here we go. I want is a woman who makes me look good. No woman who's running around talking about sucking dick can make me look good. Woo! So I lose interest completely and utterly, and that's the truth. So what she's saying is completely correct. These are old school things, but it's not about the act. Yes, you can order food, of course. <laughs> it's about the status that comes with it. That's what it's about. Uh- yes, because any man can door uh, DoorDash and Grubhub, right? If a man, any man can get fed, DoorDash and Grubhub. But very, very few men, unfortunately, have a woman where you can text them, hey, cook me my steak and rice. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Uh, Sagittarius spoken like a true one. Oh. That is true. My oh, man. oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. So already, already, 
already. Now, now she wants to sound like she's a wizard. She wants to sound like she's my oh Sagittarius, spoken like a true one. If she didn't know, if she didn't know Andrew Tate's birthday, she would never know he's a Sagittarius. She wouldn't. Fuck out of here. Uh, uh, the fit comedian member for eleven months. Says the girl in gold should have never been invited back. I guess we will see why. Uh, Dre Raven with the five dollar super jet says to make an airline apology. Modern women are forced. I'm sorry. Modern women are focused on providing the best free peanuts, but ignoring seat comfort, timely flights, and courteous crew. Wow. Very good. I like that. Very very good. Look, my it's man's a, a Sagittarius. Yes. Listen, well, my man's a Sagittarius. So basically, it's a straight shooting sort of conversation. But I think that sometimes we get distracted and we talk about the bicker bicker of between men and women. I think that the problem that men and women have is the consequences of the bad decisions that the one percent of powerful men make on our behalf. Because our problems are there. It is. She's already deflecting blame. It's the top one percent. On a societal level, less than between woman and man. That is why there's a lot of competition between men. This chase for status that they will never get. Wait, why, men, why is that the fault of the one percent of men? Because they're the ones that drive the machine that runs this. The West. It's is, always been that way. Yeah, and but then think about the men that are at the top now. The corruption and everything that's going on. And this is why <gasps> it feels very good to sit some, next to somebody like you and just say, do you know what? I appreciate that you say things that are really true. You expose a very toxic truth and a very true truth as well oh boy, here we go. that is out there. But the reality is, on the trenches, when you go to the grassroots, people don't feel the way that you feel. It's not as simple as what you say. They are Actually, that's exactly right. This is, why, this is why Andrew Tate has such a following. What she is trying to do is she is trying to delineate between a man of Andrew Tate's status and Andrew Smith out on, out on the field. No, men, we all have the same fundamental desires and requirements for women in relationships. Yes, the more money and status you have, the more selective you can be. But at the end of the day, all men of all statuses, of all socioeconomic statuses, want women who are fit, feminine, and friendly. That's always the way it's been, and that's always the way it will be. There's no difference in the mindset of top 1% men. Daddy Dame with the $5 super chat says, a spoiler alert, by the end of this vid, every woman on that couch is going to want Tate, Tate to clap their cheeks. I, I mean, I could have told you that, right? <laughs> are victims of this system. So my job here victims is really not to try and make it about men and women, is to make you understand that actually we need to start changing about, the narrative. You don't want to make it about men and women. They're then both women, messed up on either side. Bad. Then there, women it look bad. there it no, is. No, because it's about no. everybody together. No, women have no, 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 no. Here it is. Here she is blaming men for the poor decisions of women. That's what she did. That whole word salad, that whole bullshit word salad, she just told us the reason why most women ain't shit is because of the top 1% of men. That makes absolutely no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. This is another typical modern woman who appears to be balding because she's always got her hair pulled back, blaming her bad decisions and her status and her status in life on, on the top 1% of men. That's just not the, That's just not how it goes. Women are where they are because of the, of the decisions that they make. The top 1% of men don't control every woman. Every woman, all women want the same type of man. That's got nothing to do with your choices. Traumas, men have their traumas. I'm not here to fight against men and women. That's small. I, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I but don't. the idea, the idea, the idea that this one percent of men have created this terrible society. Yeah, I talk about that. I talk about the Matrix. I talk about these things. But it's always been this way. It's always been a small elite group of men who are in charge of the world. And unfortunately, now we're fighting battles in different ways. The, 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 the days of old, a man proved his worth by going to war. Basically, every right. man at any point in his life was going to end up going to war. And he came back victorious. He came back with honor. He got himself a wife. That's, right. that's how it worked, right? Now men don't have to go to war as much, depending on where you live in the world. And it's slightly different. And we fight our wars in other ways. And yep. one of the true expressions of testosterone and trying to really express your ability and your combative ability now in the, in the modern world is power and influence. Yep. So in the olden days, you'd go to war, you come back with a ribbon. Nowadays, you got X amount of followers. You can move the world with money. I can bend reality with money. Please understand, it's if true. I walk into Jimmy Choo, they lock the door. No brokies allowed in. Tate's here. And I buy whatever the fuck I want. There's lines outside because I'm there. Mm -hmm. I bend the world with money. That's how I, that's how the wars are now won. So you're talking about high status males and it's always <laughs> been that way. Now you have a whole contingent of men who aren't dead. Okay, they didn't die in a ditch, but they're lonely as fuck jerking off. 
And that's the reality of it. And and women don't give a fuck about them. And why should you? Right. I'm not sitting here actually shitting on women in any way. I think women have a biological instinct to a degree to try and find the best mate they can because it gives them the highest chance of survival Absolutely. and the harsh realities of the world. Yep. And if they look at a man who's not capable, they just don't feel an attraction to him. And that's the bottom line of it. And and that's why I actually most I'm I'm largely misunderstood. I don't blame women for a lot of the problems. Women are guilty of certain things, but I have a massive amount of blame to place on men because there's so many men who are genuinely incompetent. That's right. I, if I was a chick, I wouldn't fuck these losers either. That's right. Like, they're losers. So uh, it's, it's hard. Out balance. It's hard. I love it. Do you know what I can't understand? Why people are always going for the 1%? All the women want to rush for the 1%. Uh-oh. Why don't you just find a regular 9 to 5 person that's going to look no. after you? You can be his queen. Why can't you just do that? Why is everybody really rushing? I've mm-hmm. got a man. We don't go on social media. If it weren't for part, I want no night about social media. 9 to 5, I've got our own property, 32 years, happy as Larry. What is the problem? <laughs> oh. It's not old fashioned. It, can, it works. No, Auntie, <laughs> let me clarify. When I meant 1% is not the 1% of attraction. I mean, the actual people that are in charge of the things that run the world the way that well, I'm trying to say- that's uh, guys. That's a false argument. That's a false argument. I don't know why she keeps bringing up the top 1% of powerful men in the world. Okay. So the top 1% of powerful men in the world, they control. okay, that's fine. What we are talking about are the grassroots, the, the basic, the basic principles and fundamentals of intersexual dynamics between women and men. And this woman is trying to take a very macro problem and turning it into a micro problem. The reason why the world is in peril is because of these high status men that all of these women want. Whether that's true or not is immaterial. Women make bad decisions romantically because they have shown us time and again that they are incapable at effective mate selection. If, if the last 50 years have told us nothing, is, it that, is, is that women suck at picking the men that they actually need. And I've said this before. Feminism split the, split the man in two. Back in the day, a man used to, a, a man, all a man had to be. All a man had to be, he had to, he had to be respectful. He had to be hardworking. He had, you know, he had to have an education, a good job, et cetera, et cetera. And he got a wife. Well, these days, what, femi- what really fourth wave feminism has done is that has, it has caused women, young women, to prioritize physical genes, physical genetic genes over provider genes. They value physical genes when they're young and hot, but now all of a sudden when they get ran through, now all of a sudden they want the man that they need. That's the problem. This has, I, what, what, what this woman is talking about, whatever the hell her name is, she's not making any sense at all and has nothing to do with anything they're talking about. Shane will win. Tw- uh, ten, uh, $10 Superjet says, Denalva is the woman in the middle. She is unsufferable but makes for good debate, which is why Pearl has her on often. She's the perfect definition of a modern woman. She makes for good content, and this is why Pearl is has, this is why this video is now at 1.2 million uh 1.2 million views say is that it's always been an umbrella we've lived under but and the then difference the functioned is, underneath it so why is it going to affect me i'll explain why because as sir mr andrew king tate said i want to know what she's after i'll have, have this after. one after this point i want to know point. what she's after yeah. so <laughs> <you're laughs> and, and try that now it is i've been drinking lime juice as well so I love how, dude, I love how Tate knows this bitch really ain't shit, but he's humoring her. That's pretty good. So, as he very rightly said, society has now evolved. Before men went to war, mm-hmm. now men don't go to war. So mm-hmm. there's a lot of sense of no purpose that they need to find. And then on the women's side, is that the same way that a society evolved, it made men feel less purpose. They have now had to take on bigger purposes. They have to go to work like they didn't have to do before. They have to take care of the family and work and do all of these oh. things and now deal with the fact that men are... Oh, and, and and whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? Now they gotta now they gotta go to work and they gotta come home and take and take care of the kids. Whose fault is that? That's the woman's fault. Women had it made back in the day, guys. Women had it made back in the day. They could stay dude, they could stay at home, take care of the kids, keep the house clean, keep everybody fed. They were on easy street. But women have chosen to be career women. That's not the fault of men, that's the fault of women. Single mothers are single mothers because they choose to be. Either directly or indirectly, they are single mothers because they choose to be. Never forget that. Feeling a little bit like out of, what you know. No, but she, no, what but she, you know rubbish? That ain't what I'm saying. Look, you, oh, get well. a, you get a nine to five person, right? What is wrong with you going out there, find a regular nine to five person? Right? You can function underneath that. Because I'm always saying the women say, oh, we ain't got enough money. We ain't got enough money. There it is. Work with what the man's got. You're right. Work with what the man's got. You can make a man your alpha. Everybody wants to go and find these top earning money. Find a nine to five, work regular, save your money, Woo. learn to cook and not have takeouts, oh and then save God. your money as I did before. Then you should direct this to the men that feel upset because 
because they're not like how you take. But that's most men, sweetie. That's most men. What Auntie Jenny just what Auntie Jenny just said is, what's wrong with the regular average nine to five man? What Auntie Jenny is pointing out is something is, is another element of the reason why uh, the reason why the dating market is dead. Average women don't want average men. The average woman thinks that she is entitled to an above average man, even though she's below average. Below average men don't feel entitled to average or above average women. Below average men know exactly what they deserve. As stated before, the world reminds us at every turn what we do and do not deserve. It doesn't work the same way with women. And because most women, most average women want above average men, that's what's created the power. That's what's, that's what's created sort of the imbalance in the dating market. I don't know what this woman is talking about, Dalvina, Dal, uh, Dan, Danalva. What does that have to do with asking them about the top 1% of men? That makes no sense. To the man. No, Why? She's, she's completely, completely right. I'll, give you, I'll tell you this. There's not a girl on this panel or on the planet today who couldn't walk outside and find a man who's going to be nice to her, loyal to her, and make her his queen. Bingo. Mm -hmm. Women don't want that. Nope. So they'll sit there and go, no, I want Chris Brown. And then they'll go try to get Chris Brown. Then Chris Brown will cheat. And they'll be like, I can't believe he cheated. I am devastated. Well, what the fuck do you think is going to happen? There you go. If I go to the car garage, right, you have to make a decision what you truly want in your life. If you truly want to just find a man who's going to look after you and take care of you, you're going to be his queen, he's going to be loyal. You can find that all day, but you're going to have to settle to a degree where a lot of women perhaps are not prepared Woo! to do that. Wow. You, see the, you see how women act. They'd rather chase a fraction of a real G's time Woo! and uh -oh. have 100% of the time of a fucking dude who they don't who they don't respect at that level. And it's kind of like going to a car dealership. You walk in there, you, if, you, if you want reliability, you can get a Nissan. But if you want to get a Ferrari, it comes with it comes with headaches. It's going to be right. problems. That's right. So when girls say to me, oh, you know what, Andrew, you know, you should be loyal. To Men like me don't have to be. And That's you right. know that. That's right. So why the fuck are you here trying to tell me what to do? Because you know I don't have to be loyal. And all the girls I'm fucking don't have to be loyal. So why are you sitting there pretending you expected me to be loyal when everyone knew from ground up day one it was never going to ever fucking happen? And you're still here. I think. You're still God damn. Holy shit. Dude, Andrew Tate is an absolute fry basket. Uh, welcome to Maury. Welcome to Chat Privileges. At Maury to welcome him, I assume, to the TSR family. Uh, more if you would put your agent location in the chat. A uh, cigar man eighty five with the two dollar super chat says uh, she is trying to blame the one percent for her being a three hundred four. That's exactly right. That is exactly right. All women blame the top one percent of men for them being three hundred fours. Uh, the fit comedian says Denalva has no accountability. Just bump it, then dump it. I like that. They're going to be the one that changes you. Well, no, no, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the biggest mistake <laughs> that so girls who, make. Whose fault is this? This is the female decision. As Brittany Renner now fixes her hair. They sit there and decide, no, I want this, 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 this. Cool, then you're going to have no, to accept. They, he ain't going to be loyal to you. He's barely going to reply to you. That's the game. They <laughs> like being cheated. I swear to God, this show has made me believe. I think women like to be cheated on. I uh, listen, Pearl is right. Pearl is right. It's, it's, it is absolutely incredible that women, she's right. Women do like to be cheated on because they'll complain about men. Uh, uh, oh, my boyfriend's cheating on me, blah, 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 blah. But they don't leave. But- when they actually stop cheating on them, then they don't want them anymore. It's no, unbelievable. I, I swear to God, no, because all y'all ever talk about is your exes that cheated on you. That's it. That's all you ever talk about. That's and right. It's like, Who it's like, only that's talks the about that? The regular <laughs> women that run in. The women that oh. come on. The oh, here we go. I don't know any. I don't know any woman. I don't know any woman who talks about women who cheat on their boy, the, their cheating boyfriends. Get out of here. Oh, good thing I'm irregular and extraordinary. Yeah. But do you not think it's because we're not holding men accountable? So when a man. <laughs> We're not holding men accountable. Are you kidding me? Did she really just fix her mouth to say we're not holding men accountable? <laughs> because he's a top G, cheats on a woman. It's like, well, what do you expect? When you should actually turn around to accountable him and say. Accountable for what? Account Wait, accountable for, okay, accountable cheating, for his natural evolutionary cheating, biology. Is cheating morally correct? Yes. Depends. Yes. How can you okay. say? How you're can okay. you say that? Are you you're joking? okay with your woman cheating on you then? Absolutely not. That's her. No, because oh, it's her rap when she cheats on you, but you can cheat on her. There is ah, this is funny. <clears throat> this is funny. Yeah, <clears throat> there's men don't cheat. We exercise options. Men don't cheat. We exercise options, guys. Let me let me let me explain something to you. In a pride of lions. There is one alpha male. Sometimes there's two, but mainly one. There's one alpha males and then like a gaggle of lionesses. There's one, there, one lion has five or six lionesses. 
the lion fucks the lioness, one lioness in front of all of the other lionesses, and they don't get up in arms about it. The reason they don't get up in arms about it is because they know that is the natural order of things. One lion propagates a herd of lionesses, but one lioness doesn't take the loads of multiple lions. This is why this is why women forgive cheating a lot more than men do. That's how it goes. It is the natural order of things. The stud impregnates the mare. A stud impregnates multiple mares. One mare doesn't take the loads of five studs. It's it it it, it is exactly the same way. Lioness number one isn't 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 feeling some type of way that the alpha lion is fucking lioness number three. Oh, well, he's going to be fucking her and her and her and her. I'm going to be out of there. No, they stick the fuck around because they understand that that is the natural order of things. It is the same with humans. Felons have reproduced. Felons have 30% more children than non-felons. Let me say that again. Felons have 30% more felons than non-children. Here's another fact. Six out of 10 men, six out of 10 men who have walked the earth have never reproduced. That's right. Only 40% of men throughout history have produced. 99% of women have. But they still want to complain that men are unfaithful. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's not been in the history of humanity across any culture, any book, any story, any fable. There has never been across the history of humanity any respect put on the name of a promiscuous female ever. Woo! Ever. You name the biggest conquerors that you can possibly name from history. Genghis Khan, yep. Alexander the Great, all of them. They all had a hundred wives, bunch of children, Big G, conquered the world. Normal. That is normal evolutionary biology. That's how men are designed to be. There's never been a single female who's been celebrated for a promiscuity ever in history. It's always been frowned upon and disgusting. So, yes, we are... And Boleyn, anybody? Completely and utterly different. Yes, it's different if a woman cheats on a man. And if a man is at a complete top level of his life and ticks every single box, and if he decides to be loyal, which some do, and I can be loyal, and I have been loyal, but there's also times in my life where I think, fuck it, I don't want to be, and get a new girlfriend every single day of the week, I can do that, and I can decide to do that. If a woman decides to do the same, purely because her value is high enough to attract so many males, because she's beautiful, for example, it is completely different. And I'm going to explain to you why it's completely different. Here so buckle go. up. It's hey. different. <laughs> it's different. Go. It's different. Well, I'll tell you Yo, what. Yo, Auntie Jenny said, I'm buckling up, goddammit. Dude, now it's now, see, look, Tate's, Tate's about to straighten up. He's about to drop the game. Right. It on, is Sandy. impossible for a female <laughs> to be promiscuous on a long enough period of time without devaluing herself. Woo! Because she is fucking people she shouldn't be fucking. Uh. There is no way she is sleeping with endless men, and all of them are... Guys, I want you to do something very important. Don't watch Andrew. Listen to Andrew. Watch Renner. Watch. For either high-value men or treating her the way she should be treated. If you find a woman who slept with 50, 100 dudes, she's either fucking dudes which aren't at her level or haven't worked hard enough to try Woo! to get the pussy. She's oh, just too boy. drunk to realize he's a loser who plays video games. Or she's fucking a top G who barely texts her back. So either way, she's fucking dudes she shouldn't be fucking or a guy who's at the level who doesn't give her the right amount of attention. For a woman to find a guy who's truly on a level, who truly treats her the way she should be treated, that's once every couple years, if that. If that. You ain't just gonna go out there fucking a new dude every week and say, yeah, he's worth pussy. Yeah, he treats me good enough to get my pussy. Da -da -da. And you know what's funny? About the universe it's actually beautiful about the universe because it's equal and opposite forces when you devalue yourself it's kind of like men can smell it on you mm. oh they yes look at a bitch and go oh Ugh. and that's yeah. the way it works so you have to be very careful as a female and sit and go does this man truly deserve to fuck me and if you think about it the answer 99 percent of the time especially if you're promiscuous is yes is no so when a woman <laughs> is sleeping around with all these men she's devaluing herself she's devaluing herself and the world knows god knows the universe knows when a man does it he doesn't devalue himself at all no nope. that's just the way it works can i ask you a question Woo! Wow! Jesus fucking Christ, man. Andrew Tate is good, man. He really is. Like, the way his mind works is... Ay, ay, ay. El Baracho, $5 Super Chat, says, Any man that has uh, does, that has options will cheat if he is interested in her. I agree. Whatever, too, $5 says, Pearl has tapped, some, some, tapped into some universal psyche. Hate her or love her. The girl is tapping into something real. God bless, bro. Hey, man, you're, you're absolutely right. Dude, the people, dude, the people who hate on Pearl are just jealous of her. That's all there is to it. Wait, 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 w
it is all, it, dude, all of the guys, look, dude, there are so many articles. It's not like it is on TV. It's not like, it's not like one attractive girl has a polyamorous relationship with a bunch of attractive guys. No, it's always one. It's a dude. It's basically a girl who looks like a science project. Who's fucking five other guys who look like a science project. It is, they are never, ever attractive. So if a girl is married to two men, then those two men ain't shit. Because no man in his right mind, no man in his right mind would ever allow his woman to be married to him and another man. That's stupid. Mm. What is the difference between a man, let's say me, I have four wives, right? What's the difference between a man having four wives and a woman having four men? You can impregnate the four wives at the same time. You can impregnate the four wives at the same time, and we know who the parents are, right? Oh, so you, uh, know, so you have four uh, pregnancies. You know who the mother is because she's <laughs> carrying the baby, and you know who the dad is, top G. If you had a woman with four men and she gets pregnant, who's the, who's the parents? What if oh, that's it. That's a mic drop right there. Who's the parent? What are we going to do, a DNA test? What are you doing, hoping, hoping and praying that your sperm fought theirs off? That's the perfect breakdown. But if but no, I'm asking. Okay, Do you know? I ask, what if they're different races? Answer one white, the question. One black? You don't answer know. the question. You don't you, know. You, answer the now, question. Now, modern science can come along and maybe fix that for you, but that doesn't mean it's not wrong in, in the eyes of God. The idea of having a family, the idea of a child being born, one of the baselines for a new life to come onto this planet is for at least to understand who the two people who made it are, at least. Yes. If you have a woman fucking four dudes, you don't even know who's, who, who got her pregnant. So may I just it's say... It's disgusting. Wait, wait. Have, have, may, you, have you seen the twins that had two different dads? Oh, that's... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I saw that. May I just say something then? So if that is the case, yeah, if the one thing that you're meant to have is you at least you know who the two people that put that child on earth are, then that's why promiscuity for men is also a problem because they get <laughs> women pregnant. Sometimes they don't even know they have children. That's yeah, so? So? Yeah, sometimes they don't know they have children, but guess what? They know who the daddy is, don't they? So, right, no? No, it's completely different. It's different because you have to understand I'm talking about Humans. You look at humans from a societal perspective, and but society has changed, right? So let's say two, three hundred years ago, if a woman got pregnant, she needed a man to survive. If that man didn't take care of her during pregnancy, she was going to die. She couldn't mm. work a job, she couldn't hunt, couldn't fish, whatever, right? A woman literally needed that man for survival. So if if you were to come to me and say I'm pregnant, but you've been fucked by four different dudes, mm. I'd be like, who says it's mine? Why am I looking after you? Yeah, right. None of them want to look after you. Exactly. She will literally perish. This is why in most of the world today. Still today, virginity is so coveted, and throughout all of history, it's been so coveted that's right. because that's the only way to ensure paternity. Mm -hmm. She's a virgin. I know that's my baby. She ain't a virgin. Prove it's mine. <laughs> Outside of this modern science bullshit, shaitan, the devil we have here in the West, oh and most God. of the world today, without virginity or at least a low body count or at least uh, anti-promiscuity, you can't tell that that's your baby. So, mm. If you guys have noticed, Brittany Renner is uncharacteristically silent. It is uncharacteristically silent. She is uncharacteristically silent. And the reason why she is uncharacteristically silent is because Andrew Tate is literally describing her. That's why she doesn't have it. That's why she doesn't have anything to say. Dude, she's been skeeted in by every rapper, NBA. I mean, she's got no, she, dude, she's got nothing to say. There, there's no, like, there's no disagreement in her. Uh, even Zuer said Tate and Fresh and Fit of, uh, uh, Fresh and Fit After Hours have been dropping fee, free female game for years. And yet these ladies will prefer to argue in delusion rather than take notes. Unbelievable. That's how it is. Uh, REA 12 figures, $10 says, whoa, Donovan, I did not know about that felony stat. That's good info. And I'm a result of it. My father has two felonies and he fathered six kids from five women. My mom's only two kids are from him. Here you go, guys. There you go. Felons have 30% more children. This is just how it goes. It's a completely different thing. You're looking at the idea of a man, a woman being pregnant and coming to a group of men and saying, one of you has to take care of me and put up with me when I'm fat and moody and annoying and I need my bills paid. And what all the that? men are going to sit there and go, no, fuck no. Prove it's mine. You can't prove it. Bounce. Where it's different. If I get four women pregnant, we know the, we know yeah. the deal. Okay, so let me ask you a question. So obviously back then for survival, women needed a man. Otherwise, when they were pregnant, they could die and all of these things, they would perish. In today's society, given evolution, given the fact that as women, we can you go still and get... Need men. Yeah, but I'm I'm not saying that. Isn't there a glitch between what is actually happening and the nature of what we have in our bodies? I think that's probably the conflict that we're having right now. Glitch in what way? In the sense that women don't feel like they need men in the most physical sense, With, perhaps yeah, like right. naturally. It's, it's very interesting. Women I, don't yeah. feel like they need men in a physical sense because life is soft. But it's bingo, bingo. Men have done men have done such a gr dude. Men have done, son, uh, done such a fantastic job of civilizing the world with our advances in science, medicine, building technology, et cetera, et cetera, that there are actually, there are actually women 
in first world countries who honestly believe that they could live without us. It's incredible. This is how good, this is how good a job men have done civilizing the world. The only reason why women can exist in today's world is because men have civilized it for them. It's, mm. but, it's, but it's bullshit. And it's bullshit because you still need men by proxy, one. And two, the second life gets difficult. You very quickly you very quickly learn how much you need men. Uh -oh. But women will go, I'm an independent. I don't need no man because I have an OnlyFans and men pay my OnlyFans. And if anyone comes up to me, I'll call a male police officer. I don't need men. Shut up, you fucking idiot. Of course you do. <laughs> mm. man, your whole life is based on fucking men. The road you're driving on was built yes, by a man. Thank the house you. you're living in was built by a man. The car you're driving was, was designed by a man. Your whole life depends on men. And the second anything bad were to happen to you, the second you were physically threatened, or times were to get hard, or war were to start, or famine, or riots. The first it's thing you men, do is find it. a big strong man, yep. shit yourself, and throw the feminism out the window. Mm -hmm. Feminism goes out the fucking window the second that the snow needs shoveling, or there's a fucking broken down car, or the tire needs changing. Then all that crap vanishes. It's garbage. And this is the actual, the very interesting thing. I'll make a point here, which is going to get me canceled again, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the point. Feminism in and of itself can't be defended. Any idea, the point of an idea is that it can be defended by the people who believe in it. This right. has been the whole point of war since the dawn of time. It doesn't matter if it was the Christians against the Hindus. It doesn't matter if it was the Germans against the French. There were people who had ideas and ideologies, and they were prepared to fight each other to defend their ideology. Right. Feminism is an ideology which cannot be defended by feminists. Nope. The only people who could defend feminism are the men who subscribe to the garbage. If, you, if all the feminists were to get in a, in, a, in a line and say, we want feminism, and the conservative men were to get in a line, you would learn very quickly it's bull. Bullshit. I had a friend in Afghanistan when Taliban kicked America out, and he told me the Americans were, tell were telling the girls they could go to school. So they built all these girls' schools, and they oh split boy. the Afghanistani defense forces oh there, boy. and they get funded the Afghani defense forces to, to, to protect these schools. You had American satellites. You had night vision goggles. Taliban were afraid to attack. America leaves. Now you have Afghani defense forces. They're basically blind. They don't have satellites anymore. They don't have, don't have uh, night vision, whatever. So now it's a real war. The men are standing next to this girl's school. The Taliban are coming. You're uh -huh. some dude. You're standing there, and you're looking at this girl's school going, I don't really give a fuck if girls go to school. Bounce. And you just and you didn't fight. So that's why they all gave up, and Taliban took over so quickly. Wow. And when I, said I did not know that. That is that is fascinating. So even 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 overseas, even uh, even abroad, women need men. Wow, I did not know that. This, the girl's like, yeah, they should have fought for us, feminism. The, why don't the women fight? Can I ask? Oh, wait, the women uh -uh, can't defend it. their own fucking idea. You Thank need you. men to defend feminism. So that's why the whole thing is stupid. <laughs> so the second men don't defend it, it, does, it just fails as a fucking ideology. It's garbage. Dude, he is absolutely cooking these broads. Like, dude, they've got nothing for him. Like, this is, dude, this is like the first seven rounds of Julio Cesar Chavez versus Meldrick Taylor. Like, Meldrick Taylor dominated Julio Cesar Chavez. He won the first eight, nine rounds. Holy smokes. Alvin Sam, $5, says modern women want men to check off her boxes and carry her baggage. Very, 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 very true. Uh, the Fit Comedian, $5, says you can tell by Britney's body language she is getting frustrated with Denalva. Yeah, I don't know that that's frustrating. It, it, it could be. It could be. But she isn't saying anything. She isn't saying anything, guys. The fact that the fact that Andrew Tate is basic, dude, he scored 48 unanswered points. He scored 48 unanswered points. And every time, every time he gets on a roll, Denalva can can I she there's nothing else to say. He's dude, he is absolutely deep frying these women. May I tell you something now? So this is the thing. This is when we <laughs> assume that women perhaps don't have the physical or even mental ability to go to assume. a war. Assume. Wait, wait, wait. Because this is the thing. For example, in Ukraine, a lot of women took up arms. And in fact, I'm Angolan. Wait, wait, oh my I'm God. Angolan. Are you serious? Wait, wait, I'm Angolan. And don't lie. Listen. Oh. Wait, no worries. Dude. I'll talk about my Never. personal you wanna story. Go to war? You wanna no, fight wait, the front let line? me tell oh, you. Oh, dude, no, no, bitch. Dude, really? Really, Ukrainian women took up arms against uh, uh, against Putin's Russia, dude. Fuck out of here! Hell. Come on, man, get out of here. This is ridiculous. Women don't take up arms, and if they did, they'd get slaughtered. Women, are, dude. Not only are women not physically, not not only are women not physically prepared for combat, they're not men. They're not mentally ready for combat. There's a there's an instinct that people have when there is danger. It's called fight or flight. If there is danger, you either run toward the danger or you run away from it. 1100 times out of 10, 
When there is danger, women run away from the danger. Remember when Remember when uh, that crazy girl on Fresh and Fit pulled a blicky and the shit started going down? What did the girls do? They all got down. Myron told him, get to the let. Right? They're sitting there talking about, well, I would knock you out and this and that and the other. They all, they all fleed. What happened when Allende and his dumbass broke into the Fresh and Fit studio and Myron's about to handle him with a piece? What did the girls do? Did they all take up arms to go and fight and kick out Allende? No. They fucking got the fuck out of the studio. They're on the back porch trying to get as far away as possible. For this woman to sit here and suggest that women actually took up arms is ridiculous. That's why the look on Andrew's face is like, are you serious with this? Uh, Vic Bynum with the $20 Super Chat says, Top G cooking. Tate was in top form in this interview. Dude, he is just getting started. DJ Berserk, $5, says no accountability. When they ask a question and Tate gets a mic drop, they answer. They ask another question. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. The woman in the middle, Denalva, is very, very good at doing that. Anytime Andrew is on a roll, she'll try to interrupt, and she'll try to bring attention to herself. She'll, she'll stop the bleeding. Then when he gets done, instead of letting it sit and cook these people, her strategy is to immediately ask a question or I want to tell you something. This is by design, guys. This is by design. Unfortunately, it's not working. Let me tell you something. This is the thing. I think it's also really <laughs> like silly to assume that, for example, a woman, because she didn't go to school, she'll not be as intelligent as a man. Therefore, naturally, a woman is not intelligent. No, it doesn't make sense. If we're not starting to normalize equality and we want to put everybody in the forefront, give a woman a Who's gun. Who's normalizing equality? Oh well, that's what, what people are wanting. Then that, that's people the case. Like who? Let me tell you. I Dude, I do not want. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Normalizing equality? When a woman calls the cops for a domestic violence situation, you think they're sending female cops? No. They're sending dudes my size. They're not sending women. The firefighters who run into burning buildings and carry people out risking smoke inhalation and death, those aren't women. Those are men. Those aren't women who are climbing up these long ladders, rescuing, you know, babies and kittens from the 15th floor. No, that's men. Get out of here with that. Who wants to normalize Let equality? Me. People like who? Oh, feminists. Who no, else wants to? I want, well, actually, no equality. I want respect. That's really Yo, all I want. stopping you from getting respect. Exactly. No, no, I get respect. I, I get, respect. get respect. I get respect. So, that's what I want. That's what I like. Respect. What I think is. You don't even know what you want. I'll tell you what I you don't want. Know what you want. You want I, equality. As a woman, I carry myself differently. I actually hold uh, the things that I have done in the fight side for. Here we go. Here we go. She's, oh, yeah, yeah. She's different. Oh, that's it. Yep. Yep. I'm not like other women. I'm not like other women. Guys, what you what what you guys will what you guys really need to 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 understand, especially about modern women like this, <clears throat> is that nothing they nothing they will never admit to being shockingly average. They'll never admit to that. Any woman who has any kind of following will never admit that she is shockingly average or below average. Brittany Renner is shockingly below average. She was blessed by the genetic gods and she blew her lottery winnings. She blew her lottery winnings. Brittany Renner should be married to a billionaire, but instead, she's, she's a baby mama of an NBA player who honestly couldn't give less of a shit about her. That's the first thing. The second thing is that women have to get out of this I am special. This woman is trying to be a, an Andrew Tate clone. I carry myself and blah, 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 blah. No. You, you don't carry anything you've done. Now she's going to give us all of these nebulous talking points. Hold it. That's why when you speak to me, I don't move different. I move different to many of the See? girls. That's why See? when you talk to me and you argue with me, I, I don't, don't take it. You. you do sometimes. I and I'll I tell you argue. something. A lot of women may have the accolades to be somebody, but they are uncomfortable to own that. And the reason why, then I would like to ask you, for example, um, I do need a, woman, a man, for example, to, you know, procreate. But other than that, I'm quite strong. And I would find things, I would find this a way is... to present myself differently. Wow. If, with that mentality, what would be the man that would be for me then? There you go. That, well, what with that mentality, what would be the man for you? There is no man for you. There is no man for you. Like, a man doesn't want a woman who thinks that she doesn't need him. Like, what are we doing? And how old is Danalva, by the way? We need to pull up her Instagram. Danalva, Danalva, what would you do if one of these security guards broke into your door? Thank you. <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> okay, do? I'll tell what you. What would you do? Absolutely well, nothing. No, she's, no a, she's, she's a feminist. I'll, I'll she's tell you. No, I'm not a she feminist. Was shit. I say tell I'm, me. A, I'm, not, I'm not a feminist. I'm, I'm a bit smarter. <laughs> Okay, either okay. I play These dead, one. Oh, 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 either I play dead. See, now it's all, now, now they see, it's all fun and games right now. It's all fun and games right now, but she's not answering the question. 
She's not answering the question. What would you what would you do if one of these security guards broke into your house? What would you do? Like honestly, what would you do? She wouldn't do shit but lay there and get killed. Yeah. Okay, they see you're not dead. Uh, it's okay. They, they no, I'd be breathing. like this. And then if not, maybe I would kind of like be very gentle and comply to find a way to get out okay. of it. Oh, well, there we go. Well, how about that? When in danger, you're not going to use the strength. You're not going to use the strength. She just said, listen, I'll find a way to defend myself. What, defend yourself with femininity? My dear, that's the, that's the very point. That's the very point. Femininity is what gets you the protection. Femininity is what gets men not to stomp you out. Femininity is to get a man to protect you. She, Dude, she literally, like, I mean, what is this, the fucking nature channel? I'm going to play dead and they're going to bully. Get out of here. This is, that, this is ridiculous, man. If they wanna... Yeah, Mike Steele says, uh, playing dead only works in a battlefield when you're surrounded by corpses. Exactly. Good God. Wow, she's only 30. Yeah, um, she actually sounds like someone who's 40. Come and kill me. But let's make an There's not much that many people but can do. But let's make an important point. You're talking about equality equaling respect. The way you get respect as a woman is by being feminine. Bingo. There's nothing. Uh, we can be equal and very, very different. I'm not saying that there's not equality, but you've confused equality with the same. You can be equal Ooh. with equity. completely different things. You can have a bishop and a knight on a chessboard. They're equal in terms of points, but they do different things, right? right. Mm. A woman can have equal respect to a man if she is very good at being a woman. And a man gets respect for being very good at being a man. Oh, Wow. Wow. A woman gets respect for being a woman, and a man gets respect for being a man. Wow. When a woman decides she wants to act like a man or a man wants to act like a woman, that's where it all gets fucked up. We try yep. to pretend yes. it's all the same. It's not the same. Men and women are good at different things. We have different strengths, different weaknesses. There's nothing wrong with accepting that. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm a woman, I'm good at X, he's a man, he's good at Y. Then we work together as a team, we have a beautiful family, we're happy forever. It's only confused where you have women who sit and go, no, because in the name of equality, we can fight in war. There's no fucking women on the front line in Ukraine. That is psyop bullshit. They put some chick there dancing around doing Pokemon dances to try and convince men to go yeah, fucking die know. in a ditch. It's garbage. If you go to the front line of Ukraine right now, you do not see women in their makeup and their manicures. You see fucking men in the freezing cold dying. You know where the women are? Dubai. Chilling. That's where the women are. So mm. to sit and pretend that women are just as capable physically as men is a fucking <laughs> lie. It's delusion. To send that you're as strong as men is delusion. You are good no at way. other things. You're better than men at a lot of things, but it's not the physical world. And the unfortunate reality about life, this is what we're saying when I was saying earlier that feminism goes out the window when things get hard. Uh -huh. The harder the world gets, it, the, it, the closer it gets to the baseline of humanity, the Woo! unfortunate baseline of, rea of, re of humanity is violence. Yeah. That's what happens when, if of all the electricity were to go out and all the police were to quit, this would become a violent place very quickly. Yes, it would. And there would be fucking zero feminists left. Zero. You would all need <laughs> men. That's the bottom line of reality. That's the bottom line. So you have to yes. understand as a woman and say, okay, no I need a man who's good it. at being a man. No but, uh, let, let me let me also let me also point this out. Let me also point this out in terms. Uh, see, feminism is a first world problem, gentlemen. Feminism is a first world ideology. You go to any third world country, there is no feminism. The poor of the country, and again, understand this, the poor of the country, the closer the men and women identify and carry out traditional gender roles. United States, dude, we are dude, we're dumb, we're fat, dumb and happy. We're fat, dumb and happy. Women, dude, women have more agency, they have more money, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, so they honestly think they don't need men. That's how this works. You go to a country like Romania, you go to you go to southern Brazil, Peru, Argentina, pretty fucking traditional there. Pretty fucking pretty fucking traditional there. Everyone's but, saying but, that we don't need men in society. Of course we do. We're talking about relationships. Yeah, you're strong, but the thing is, I can live my life as a woman and not need a man. What's a woman? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, Pearl, stop like, it. Like, in my, in my uh -oh. day to day life, I don't need a man to fix my car. I'll just go to the mechanic. But listen, right? I oh, forget. There we is go. the mechanic a man or a woman? No, no, I'm saying yes. Oh, wow. Pearl just fried her. Is the mechanic a man no, or a woman? There we go. If my car breaks down, I'll just go and get a mechanic. Yeah. And is the mechanic a man or a woman? It is absolutely a man. We need men in society, but in relationships, the only reason I actually need you is because I want you. I don't actually need you. Do you know what? I, I have baby. Right. Here we go. Here we go. What did I just tell you? What did I just tell you? She says, I don't actually need you. I literally just said this. She says, I don't need you. If my car breaks down, I'll take it to a mechanic. The mechanic's a man. You need men. Just because you're not, dude, just because you're not having sex with a man doesn't mean you don't still need men.
When you call the cops, if you're in trouble, if you call 911, if someone breaks into your house, if you want them to send men or women, it's going to be at least one man, probably two, maybe three. Uh, Dating Secrets with the $20 Super Chat says, every man needs to understand three things. One, female nature, and to be on game. Two, get your money right, knowledge, status, power, dynamics, and play. Uh, That sounds like an advertisement. Welcome, Dating Secrets, to Chat Privileges. At Dating Secrets, to welcome them to the TSR family. Dating Secrets, I would uh, strongly caution you. I would strongly caution you to, um, uh, I don't really take too kindly. I don't really take too kindly to people who become members to sort of indirectly advertise their channel. I'm not saying that's what you're doing, uh, but this $20 super chat leads me to believe that that could be, that could be what you are doing. Just keep that in mind. I need you, I need you to procreate. Yes, I agree. But the things I don't need you in my day-to-day life. What if, what if someone, someone, but wait, what, wow. wait, what if someone breaks into your house? Yep. That's... I'll just call the police. Okay, what if they don't come? What if it, the average is play in dead the US, in the U.S. It takes, See, here we go. Play dead. It's like 15, and give them everything in, in the fifth in, in the U.S. It takes like 15 that minutes is, for them to get there. But that's not realistic. What, that okay, doesn't okay, happen no, on okay, a day-to-day okay, okay, okay. life. These wow. Are you kidding me? This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Yes, it takes the it, dude. It takes the cops. I think in I think in this part of in this part uh, uh, of the state of New Jersey, it takes 10 minutes for the cops to get here. 10 minutes, and they rush. There's traffic. Dude, 10 minutes is all somebody needs to get what he wants to get done. This woman is absolutely delusional. You guys, in your in your house, what are you doing? But that's not realistic. I've not had any man break into my house. Not yet. It's on no, a day-to-day. No, point, it doesn't the happen. Point, the point is, so let's be realistic I know, I know what you're, now. I, I know what you're saying, but the, the point is this. The point is, when we're talking about feminism as a whole, feminism as a whole demonizes men. And you just said, you just sat and said, besides procreation, I don't need a man in my life. Uh-oh. I can go to a male mechanic or call a male police officer. They're men. So it's it, in it's, society, it's, so, you are yeah, needed. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Okay, of so, course, so, we need you. Of course. So you're talking about being with a man. It because you want to. So yeah. my, my question to you is, why would you want to be with a man? Why would a man want to be with you? Because oh. they're sexy. Like, obviously, because like of the kind <laughs> of no, 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 guys, and we don't talk about men. Sorry, no, 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 no. I love men. No. I love dick, We don't okay? sound like it, but it's not all about dick. What I'm trying to say is no, that uh, in uh, a good relationship... Yo, Auntie Jenny just cooked this bitch. She said it's not all about shit, dick. Right? One that works. There's blue jobs and there's pink jobs. <laughs> right, and that's the problem that women have got. Oh, geez. they don't want to be doing no pink jobs. But that's wow. not yeah. Yeah. I don't know that yeah. that Blue jobs and pink jobs. That there, there are feminine jobs and there are masculine jobs. Very good. About- We're talking about relationships. Why do you need a man in a relationship? Because you want a partner. What about companionship, partner? friendship, you romantic love, love, things that you can't get yeah. by yourself. Take, like you want to go. Oh, that's Brittany. Is that Brittany Renner jumping in? Is that Brittany Renner jumping in with a little wisdom? She just asked the question, why would I want to be in a relationship with a man? <laughs> Brittany's like, dude, compassion shit compa- or uh, uh, companionship, shit that you can't get by yourself. Uh, Jen says she's a, Ni- a Nigerian queen, by the way. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of that going around. Busy as the 87, $10, says, on this point, I wish they pointed out to her she is, she is in fact still interested in dating a man and will still pick a manly man over a guy who lacks manly characteristics. That's exactly right. On dates with him, it's not about I need someone to fix my car. Like, go to a mechanic. <laughs> You're not safe. Call the police. Not like, true. it's not that easy. Oh, wait, 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 what about a father to your kids? You don't think your exactly. kids are exactly? You can be around. I, I, I definitely want that. These are the stuff. This is the reason. Wait, no, I you need, need a man. That. That. Well, sweetheart, in order to get, uh, in order to get a man to want to procreate with you, there you need to have certain traits and characteristics. That's the bottom line. Like, you can't, like, listen, okay, yeah, I want a man to procreate with, but, like, sweetheart, he's not going to procreate with you if he doesn't want to. And I, and I agree. Not, wait, 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 wait. It's not It's not that you want it. You need it. I agree. And these are the stuff that I need in a man. But it's like, at the end of the day, it's not like I completely need you. It's but, like, I want the whole, you. but the whole point mm. is if the lights went out tomorrow, you would need a man. That's in society, no, society agree. Why do we have, like, women are so no, 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 useless? I'm saying, it's I'm not that I can change a no, tire. No, I'm saying, I'm <laughs> saying if, if the lights went out tomorrow... You would need someone to protect you. That's right. You yes, would. Of course. Can I society, not my boyfriend. I'll go on the ground. Like, ah. Do you hear this? She says society, not my boyfriend. Do you hear this? The entitlement. The entitlement. Western women, Western women believe that they are entitled to protection, even though she is sitting here telling you, I don't need a man. I don't need a man. 
I don't need a man because if I really need you, I can farm out anything. I can hire a mechanic. I can call the cops, blah, 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 blah. But if the lights go out, I don't have anything to worry about because men will come and protect me. And De uh, DeRay Davis says, not the east side. Yeah, man, the east side of London, that's the dodgy part of town. That's the dodgy part of town. Oh, men will help you all right. They'll help themselves. Uh, Busy Izzy 87, another $5 super chat says, it's like men in the modern world don't need a woman to cook for them, but will take a woman who can cook over a woman who cannot if all is even. Let me explain something to you guys. Let me explain. Let me explain something to you guys. And I'm actually going to use her logic against her. Women are no longer necessary for a man's happiness. They're just not. If a man wants regular sex, he can go out and buy it. If he wants, if he wants, uh, if he wants a meal cooked, he can hire somebody to do that too. If he wants his house cleaned, he can hire a woman and maid to come and clean his house. There is nothing that a woman can offer a man that a man can't go and buy on his own and not have to deal with bullshit like this. But there is no amount of money or nothing that a woman could do to get a man to retire her. Women need men more than men need women. I don't think this woman realizes this. She didn't realize this. Yeah, if I, if I want to, if, if, if my car breaks down, I'll, I'll, I'll go get a mechanic. That's fine. That's fine. But you can't pay a man to be a companion, sweetheart. And in the end, it is, it is, ab it is absolutely that companionship that you need. This woman is sitting here telling us, giving us all the reasons why she doesn't need men while simultaneously telling us that men will protect her. The nerve. Technomage B5, member for 33 months. He said, society goes out, seven women will beg to be with one man. You got that right. Uh, Dung is fun, $2, says, men only help her because she pays them. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's exactly right. How about getting a man to fix your car for free? Would a man fix your car for nothing? Oh, nope, you got to pay him. That means... She belongs to the streets. Oh, my exes can't even do anything. Can I, well, yo, That's how she Whose fault is that? Her exes can't do anything? That's a you problem, sweetie. Another poor problem, choice. a lot of men can't do much. Do you know what I mean? Not everybody in this day and strong. age, in this day and age, guys can't even Listen, fit a tire. You, <laughs> you cannot, you <laughs> cannot. No, no, women no. can't cook. <laughs> women can't cook, they can't clean, they can't iron. So, like, what are we talking about here? Not true, my sister. But I can cook, I can cook. 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 And the thing is, I'm not, I'm Nah, uh-uh. Anytime a woman says she can cook, nope. To your brothers, Listen, they don't know how to do nothing. I'm not even saying. Guys, 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 guys. Can I just say something? We have to do one at a time. Can I just say something? This is why you can't blame all men for your poor choices. Oops. You can't say, I'm talking to both of you because you're saying, yeah, my man can't do this. My man can't <laughs> do that. What? And you want to settle down. Why would you go and choose a man that, can't, that do shit. can't do these things that you wanted them to do? Yeah, there you go. Women always talk about niggas ain't shit, dudes ain't shit. Y'all are the ones fucking them. Y'all are the ones fucking them. You know what this woman is, this Nigerian queen? This is... The British version of a hood rat, y'all. This is the British version of a hood rat. What you guys are looking at is the UK version of a Shaniqua. That's what you're looking at. It's in, dude, it's 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 I don't dude, I don't know what it is about black women. A lot of guys say, well, no, if you go overseas. Now, African, real African black women, they are fit, feminine, and friendly. They absolutely are fit, feminine, and friendly. But black women who live in third world country or first world countries, they're all the same. They're all the same. This woman is literally sitting here saying, I don't need a man. I don't need no man. That's it. That's it. This woman's a ratchet. She's a she is she is a British ratchet. The reason why, and the but the reason why it doesn't seem that way is because of her accent. If she were an American woman, she would sound like Cynthia G. Or girls O'Shea likes to bang. Because my man could do all the blue I jobs. I need a man. Because most is men a grow up with a PlayStation instead. Jobs. Most no. men grow up okay, with a PlayStation okay, okay. and porn and, choosing. and yes, things. Yes, no, it's not. no, that's okay. the truth. It's not. It's speak not. For, speak for yourself. Speak for that's yourself. The, that's you Listen, I'm tell you what, sorry. Right. I don't need a mechanic to my boyfriend. You know what? Okay. I need a father to my children. I yes, but sweetheart, if you need a father to your children, yes, you do. But you're also going to have to bring something to the table. Men are not just going to procreate. The, the kind of men who, who would procreate with you just because of the way you look are going to be bad fathers. There it is. That's it. 
I don't need. Do you know something, right? She needs a, a police father. officer. Hang on a minute. She needs a father for her children, right? Yeah. So she's gonna go out there, right? And you're gonna buy your child an electric car. You're gonna go and buy your child a bicycle. Who the hell's gonna put the bicycle and fix the electric car? Oops. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's right. That's right. I don't need a man for anything. I don't need a man for anything but, well, procreation. Do it. You got YouTube. I know how to do these things. Bro, I, I fixed the Bentley before. Did you guys hear this? I fixed the Bentley. And you can do everything yourself. Go and get oh, some yeah. sperm done or something because you obviously don't need a man. Because, That's the future, I, I think. There you the, go. Thing is, no, it's not, the future for who? No, of That's like the society. Problem. Because at the end of the day, right, what listen, year are you living in? The year that you're supposed to live in. Like, I'm going to act like we are in the Stone Age. Let me finish talking. Let me finish talking, right? Now, you you got a man, right? And you've been busy all day, right? And you're in your bed at one o'clock in the morning. And your man comes in with all of his friends and said, oh, babes, all the friends are here. They're hungry. What are you going to do? Yeah, I'll cook for my man. I, I'm, I'm a traditional woman in that aspect. I, yeah, I, 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 Stop the cap. Are you kidding me? Like, what are we talking about? She just, dude, she just asked her straight up question. She just lied. I would cook for my man. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You just sat here and told us that you don't need men. What is man. it that when people start are, are, cooking, are, are, they think that cooking is traditional? It's, it's everything. It's not just about cooking. But, they always say, oh, I, I cook for my man, so I'm traditional. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. Are you a virgin? Hell you're no. traditional, you're virgin. Are you a virgin? I, no, I said in that aspect. I'm not Ah, here's what Pearl just said. Here's what Pearl just pointed out. Here's what Pearl just pointed out. She just pointed out the fact that Women want traditional men without having to be traditional women. That's what she just pointed out. Women want the high-value traditional man. They want the high-value traditional man without being a high-value traditional woman. And therein lies the imbalance. Therein lies the imbalance. Uh, Devin says she'd be like, uh, what the fuck are you doing? It's late. Get them out of here. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. I'm going to comment on me being a virgin or not, but what I'm going to say... That means no. Are you a virgin? No. Nope. If the answer is anything but yes, the answer is... No. Nope. There you go. It is... Every every human being should be able to cook. She's a Man she's a hybrid woman. of tradition and modernization. I'm a person that survives. You know, I need to cook to, to right. survive. Can, can I can I ask Miss to take something? Right. Wait a minute. You need to cook to survive. What about ordering in? Well, I'm going to ask you something. Sure. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. I, I, I can't. I don't. Know. 1800 watching, guys. Let's get the likes up. We're at 640 likes. Let's. We're at 640 likes. Let's get to 900 likes. Appreciate that. That bullshit, right? And like, there's not certain people that I can't Why even bear so excited, talking to, right? So I'm gonna talk to him because so far he's talking sense. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. It's giving pick me. Right. Uh -uh. No. Oh, it's giving pick me. I don't know what in the world. Women use the word giving for. It's giving insecurity. It's giving pick me. Do these women realize how dumb that makes them sound? No, what you should have said is you're, you look like a pick me. I'm getting pick me vibes, not it's giving pick me. And there she is with the mm, attitude. Said pick me. Listen, who said we just said pick they me? They want me. Don't look no, at me. Did, did I, say, said, I said, I said it's giving pick me. Give it pick me. Give it pick me. We're having a listen, whole conversation. Right, listen, right. Like, I, I don't want to talk to you. I don't talk to Mr. Tate. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I've been with my man for 32 years. Clap right? for yourself. 32 years. I don't need to clap for myself because I'm happy. I'm not here. And what I was going to ask him, right, is how would you think a woman? Would you think Why are you that shouting? woman? Can you would calm you think down? that woman? Who's calm down? I'm, I'm, I'm loud. I'm naturally, you don't want to hear me shout. Anyway, oh my Mr. God, Tate, yo, Auntie Jenny is cooking this hoe. Uh, dude, this is this is all bad for this Nigerian queen. It, this is all bad for Nigerian queen. Yeah, dude, this woman, this woman is a brat. This woman's a brat. She's she's not listening to anything. She's listening to respond. Like this is this is so this is so crazy that Britney Renner, Britney Renner is taking her side. Oh my God! Like I was saying before, we got rudely interrupted, right? <laughs> now, if you—is this your idea of a woman that you think deserves a man? Uh oh! Oops! I'm here, single, but I'm—I'm I'm looking. I'm here. I'm, I'm like taking you. Know, if you want to hook me up, let me know. And I just want any anybody, but choose. 
How does that make you feel? Mm. Uh, what is that kind of woman that you think deserves a man? Well, he's a top G. You can't be asking him this question. But you about us top G's, isn't it? We're mere mortals, Auntie. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm not mere mortal. I'm not mere mortal in his presence. Because nobody, nobody Come on now. Me. Which kind of question be that? Auntie, unlike you, we have options. I'm a mere mortal. Unlike you, man, we have options. Unlike you, we have options. We have options. Unlike you, we have options. Oh, unlike you, we have options. Oh, 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 oh. Au contraire. Ho. Au contraire. What Miss Nigerian Queen just stepped in was, was is the same pile of shit that modern women have been step in, uh, stepping in for the last two decades. We have options. Sweetheart, below average women have options. Lo women who are losers have options. Yes, they do. It's not the options you want. It's not the options you want. Nubian, Miss Nigerian Queen or whatever the fuck her name is, Esther, and I didn't know we were still making Esters. Like, what is this? Like, 1926? I digress. Esther could walk into a bar and get laid tonight. Easy. She could. Getting dick is easy. Getting the commitment is not. So for her to sit here and say, unlike you, Auntie Jenny, we have options. Yes, you have short-term options. You have short-term options. And none of those short-term options are the options you want. You have options for dick, not commitment. And this is where this is where western women this is where western women go wrong. They think that because they have sexual options that they must also have relationship options. Oh, this guy wants me, that guy wants me, blah 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 blah. Yeah, they want you for short-term relationships. They want you for a situation relationship, a situationship, fuck buddy arrangements, friend friends with benefits. They don't want you for anything long-term. 8.5. If, if you have options, then where's your ring? That is the most stupid thing. I actually can choose. I've not found a man that I, I want to be with. Wait. Uh, Pearl just said, where's your ring? Uh-oh. Well, I know point. your that's reality. I know your stop, reality stop, stop, is stop, you got to beg a man to go with you. Okay, see, now Miss Nigerian Queen, now Miss Nigerian Queen is starting to insult Auntie Jenny. Unlike you, I have options. Auntie Jenny doesn't need options. She's been married for 32 years. Now she's talking about the fact, <clears throat> talking about the fact that, well, you've got to beg men. Yeah, Nigerian queen, dude, she's lost the argument because she is, she is, she has started to, she started to levy ad hominem attacks, personal attacks. When they, when, when, when the other person stoops to ad hominem personal attacks, you've lost the argument. You've lost the argument. Minute, I'm going to minute, I'm going to minute, I'm going to minute. You said, unlike you, yeah. I have options. We have options, yeah. You're out here looking for... What options does Brittany Renner have? Hmm? Because, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, on episode 907 of TSR Live, which airs weekdays, weekday afternoons at 3.30 p.m., 12.30 Eastern, Brittany said uh, she doesn't have any options. The men that she wants, they're not DMing her. They're not knocking at... Her door. Uh, Eben Zuer says, these simps have been giving her way too much attention to have the nerve to be this comfortable. You're not even a five. For a man. You're out here saying that you're looking where, for a where man. Where did I say I was looking for a man? Oh, my gosh. You was at the advertising when we done the introductions. I'll That's what you said. That's what I was doing. That is what you said. Oh, got her. Got her. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Auntie Jenny got her. Auntie Jenny got her. She said, yeah, I'm advertising for a man if you want to talk, blah, 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 blah. But then as soon as Auntie Jenny sharp angles her with facts, who said I need a man? You did, bitch. You did. All, dude, listen, make no mistake, gentlemen, and I want you guys to hear me. I want you guys to hear me and hear me well. A woman's end game is always a relationship, whether she admits it or not. A woman's end game is always a relationship. They'll tell you, I'm not looking for anything serious. I'm not looking for anything long term, blah, 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 blah. The end game for a woman is always a relationship. I didn't say I was going out oh looking for a man. God. I said, I'm doing it. To you. Minute, so you come listen, to me. I'm going to decide I'm if I want you. Mr. Tate, listen, <laughs> listen to this insult, right? Listen to the insult. Oh, I'm not insulting listen, you. Hang on. Listen. Oh, I'm then what do you call it? You. Sign language. What I'm learning. Sign language. <laughs> right? Listen. Oh, shit. Did Auntie Jenny? Did Auntie Jenny just drop sign language?
Oh my God. So what she just said to me, unlike you, I have options. Fucking 32 years. You think I want options? It's I'm giving. happy with my it's man. Giving. You don't really I'm happy with my options, though. Because the way no, you're like, it's oh, not pick me. Auntie, auntie, oh, okay. Okay. It, it, oh, she meant clout. Like, wait, wait. Giving, she like, meant, she meant, like, so Esther, I'm point. sure you didn't mean pick me. You meant clout chaser. Oh, is that what it is? It doesn't we matter. Go we can go with that too. I'm sorry. Matter. I was just trying to clout. See, pick me, clout chaser. It doesn't matter. She just wants to insult Auntie Jenny. I have a fire problem. Matter. I was just saying. Wait, wait, wait. I've told Jenny lost it. Why would I want to have options when I've been in a happy relationship for 32 years? No, clout chasers is fans. It don't make no sense. I just. I just, you can monetize I'm, on YouTube just, with clout. Why, why are you calling her a pick me when you were the one advertising at the beginning of the show? Oh no! Oh my God! Woo, boy, it's getting it's getting ugly. It's getting ugly. I said I'm doing interviews. I wasn't advertising. Oh, uh, you're doing interviews? Yeah, it, sweetheart. Just because you didn't explicitly and directly say that you're looking for a man, I'm doing interviews means I'm looking for a man. Now, see, this is when th this is when women become disingenuous and they start arguing in bad faith. It's not exactly what. It, no, you used a metaphor to describe what you want. That's what you did. You didn't say I'm looking for a man. You said I'm conducting interviews. That's what you did. Ties okay. are nothing. Okay. It's banter. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Do you guys okay, okay, understand okay. what an okay. interview means? Okay. What is all right, all right. She's being right. spicy, so, guys. Stop so, it. Auntie had a question for Andrew. Oh, yeah. What was your question? Oh, no, she I asked already. He didn't answer because everybody was too busy jumping. Oh, Everybody's too busy jumping in. I already asked, but he's not too busy jumping in and being women. He's to be, patient. To be Yo, so I he's love, dude, I love Auntie Jenny. Dude, she is relentless. Yeah. To get now married. Now you can all shut up and let him answer, innit? I'll, I'll answer, yeah. So, so to, to go back to one of my earlier points, firstly, to make it clear in the disagreement, I agree with, of course, I think everyone knows who I agree with. But um, I do, because you know what it is, though? You know what's actually funny? The things that she's saying are common knowledge 20, 30 years ago. Yes. This is how the world functions. Yes. This is how the whole world functioned. The things I say that somehow people believe are controversial are exactly the way the world functioned in like the 90s, the 80s, the 70s. All of the entire period of human history, men had a role of masculinity. Women had That's a right. role of femininity. We worked as a team. Now mm. the world's come along and they've destroyed and broken everything. And there's this new progressive think and this new generation of women who seem to believe that if we completely fuck it all up, it's going to end up better. And my argument to that is, listen, we went from walking around in fields and small nomadic groups to building cities, to building the pyramids, to going to the moon. Yep. We managed to go from a few thousand to billions of people, populate the entire planet, build canals, build skyscrapers, cities. All of this was done based on the back of man being a man, woman being a woman, working together as a family. What you guys what you guys what I'm beginning to pick up on here are, are some themes. Number one, Auntie Jenny's a fucking assassin. Uh, number two, uh, the Nigerian banshee, she's just an entitled hoe. There's nothing really to say about Andrew. Tate is Tate. We all knew that. Brittany Renner is actually silent, meaning she agrees with Tate. But the woman in the middle, this Denalva, she's, she, she's kind of a chameleon back and forth, Right. She's kind of a chameleon back and forth. She she likes to catch herself agreeing with Andrew, but then always says, "Oh, wait a minute. I have I have one I have one question." She likes to agree with Andrew to keep the heat off of her, but then she wants to turn around and ask what she thinks is an introspective question. And now, now it's destroyed. You, now, now they're going to come along and fuck it up. If it's not broke, don't it's think It's destroyed. That's it's been right. destroyed. Man has destroyed earth. What are you talking about? It's no. been bad decisions men from powerful men, men that men got men, men to go men to wars built, and from earth. women to lose husbands. Men, men built Men make decisions for war. Listen, please. Men kill men. Please listen to me. Men built the earth. That's I'm right. not saying men are perfect, but the entire world that you're existing under was built by men, yeah, it's all true. of it. So, so, and the point I'm making is now we're entering a world of new think. And that the problem with new think is it's not tested. I don't give a shit what Ooh. anyone's opinion is. What I can state as a matter of fact is we had 5,000 years of history that tells us how the world works with X and Y together. That's right. We're now entering a new paradigm. There's no 5,000 years of history. So whatever you believe about how it's going to work or it's going to be better or worse, whatever, that's just you guessing. Everyone is guessing, right? So we're entering a brand new paradigm and everything's completely <laughs> fucked up. The point you were making earlier, which is a, is a fantastic one about if I pick a woman who's advertising, et cetera, et cetera, men always, please keep this in mind, uh -oh. if you're, especially if you're a female. People always say, you know, the number of emails I get from girls will say you don't give enough girl game. I'll give you girl game right now. Uh oh, <laughs> Your man wants status. That's what he wants. You need to find a way to make him look good to Woo! the world Woo! and to 
his friends. That's right. If, so how do you do that? I'll tell you. One of the ways a man can get status is to get the girl that no one can get. That's a very imp- simple way, right? So I said if, not ready to mingle. I did right. Okay, no, no, but this is the truth, right? If you, if I date a girl, and she's pr- like, call, 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 listen, look, dude, Denova's not attractive at all. Like, she is not attractive. There is nothing, like, there is nothing feminine about Denova. I just don't. There's nothing feminine about her, Devin. If you're in the chat, oh, she is, Devin. Listen, go to this video and see if you can find Denova's Instagram and send it to me. Because I'd like to see what's going on with her. Her and um, her and uh, this this uh, this Nigerian queen. I need we need to check out her her. We need to check out their IGs. Perfect in every way, head to toe. Mm-hmm. And then I'd say, oh, I've met this girl. Yeah, she's this. She's this. Oh yeah, I took her for a date. Even if he didn't fuck her, did you fuck her? No, no, I just went for a date. So you went. The, it, the attraction mm. goes from this to zero. There it done. is. And it may not for some men, because some men haven't got choices. But men like me, who genuinely have unlimited options, we want complete exclusivity. That's, That's what it. we're looking for, because that gives status. That's mm. what you're looking for. So you have to be very careful as a female with all of your actions, all of your interactions with your boyfriend, or when you're looking for a boyfriend, etc., and say. Am I going to make my man look better by doing X or look worse? Simple things. I've had endless arguments about girls' nights out, right? Oh, yes. Oh, you're insecure. Da, da, da. It's not about insecure. No. I don't give a fuck if no man talks to you all night long. I don't care if you're going out and you're going to an all-girl club. I, I don't, don't care. care. I know that when my boys say oh, all the girls are going out and I say, not my girl, she stays home. That's right. I look good. That's right. That's it. Woo! There it is. That's it. That's it. That's it. You look good. That's it. Because if you tell if you tell your boys that your girlfriend is going girls' nights out, yeah, you're giving, kind of giving the side eye, you know, these furtive glances. She okay, stays home. She doesn't go. Out. She doesn't want. She doesn't want to go out without me. That's status. It's not about the night out. It's about the status of being the man in the house. Damn That's right. That's what a man wants. He wants respect. He wants to be the man of the house. I say she stays home. She stays home. Big G. Boom boom. That's what we want. Can I ask you something? What? A- there it is. Every time. Every time. Every time Andrew cooks, she always, right at the end, can I ask you, blah, 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 blah. She's all, this is rinse and repeat with this Denalba. Uh, Red Genome, uh, Red Genome uh, with the $5 super chat says, Pearl is a velvet hand- hammer. Auntie is a sledgehammer. Dude, Auntie's a sledgehammer rocket launcher bazooka machine gun. Uh, Techno Mage B5 with the $10 super chat says, Traditions are solutions to problems long since forgotten. Feminism turned traditional roles on its head, and now the problem solved by our ancestors are reappearing. Wow. Wow. Uh, Eben Zuer, um, Eben Zuer uh, pleading with Andrew Tate, please ease up on the truth bombs. Yeah, it's, 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 you know, I, I don't think, I don't think he can, I don't think he can, I, I don't think he can do that. About what does the, the, the woman want in your eyes? What do you think? And what's the game you give for the boys? I'm, I'm going to tell you, but before that, I need another Clementine, and I need to give half to our friend here because <laughs> she just rolled her eyes at me. And I'm perspicacious. I know it's everything. She doesn't realize that I'm a ninja. <laughs> I detect these things. Even when I'm looking directly ahead, I can detect it. So That's I'm going to give her some of my Clementine, and she's going to feel better. So I'm going to get a Clementine. For you. <clears throat> Would you like some Clementine, my dear? I'm sure. You want some I Clementine? Ju- I just, I think. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So Brittany, Brittany was silent. Brittany was silent, and she rolled her eyes at Andrew Tate at the very idea of being submissive and subservient for a man. Ms. Renner, this is why you're a single mother at 30. You're an attractive woman who is a single mother at 30 because you roll your eyes at the very ideas that Andrew Tate espouses. I don't know why. I, I Dude, I have no idea. I have no idea why women can't do basic math. It it guy it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Brittany Renner is teaching I do this and I won't do that. Sweetie, you're single. You're an attractive woman who is radioactive. Dudes don't want to fuck with you. But you're still sitting here rolling your eyes at Andrew Tate. The very type of man you are after. For me, it's like I, it, I asked you a question. Would you yeah, I would love some. Yeah. You want some Clementine? Yeah, we're gonna hook it up. Okay, Clementine's okay. coming. All right, go on, continue. Okay, well, no, I mean, I just feel like this Merch. is definitely a different conversation for me because I, I'm very open minded. I love hearing different <laughs> perspective, and I do feel like oh, 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 how the tables have turned! Oh, how the tables have turned! 
oh, I'm open-minded. I like hearing other people's, you know, uh, points of view and this and that and a third. Yeah, where was this energy when you were sitting in front of Myra? Well, tell girls about me. Interesting how it's always older women who are washed up who are on the teeter-totter. Women never start to understand the truth until they no longer have options. Um, this is a newer idea. Like, like you said, within the last 30, 40 years, this is a new concept. We don't know how it's going to end. Yep. I just know from, from like my experience, other women that I've met as well. Here we go. It's like the reason for even like relationships, why they're not lasting is because people don't want to put up with the disrespect. And like, even when you were talking oh, about, we like, oh, it's okay for me to cheat, but not for you. People don't want to put up with the disrespect. Uh, Ms. Renner, sweetie, you've got no choice. You've got no choice. And this is the problem. This is the problem with women. This is the problem with women. They want the top G without the top G price. Andrew Tate laid it out to them half an hour ago. If you want a reliable vehicle, you can go buy a Honda Accord, right? It's going to do the job. It's not going to break down. Doesn't go very fast, but it's going to get you from point A to point B on a consistent basis. But if you want a Ferrari, if you want a Lamborghini, guess what? You got to have deep pockets. It needs special gas. If something, if something breaks or breaks down, you're looking at four, dude. You're looking at four to five figures before they, before you can even take it to the Lamborghini. What Brittany Renner is doing here is she wants the Lamborghini for the Honda Accord cost, and it don't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Beautiful women come with beautiful women problems. This is like men saying, well, I want my woman to be beautiful, but I, want, I don't want men to hit on her. Dude, that's the way it is. Like dudes who feel some type of way about dudes who are looking at their, dudes who are looking at their, uh, dudes who are looking at their women. Why are you feeling some type of way? You want an attractive woman? It's attractive women. That's what it is. These are the problem. These are the issues that come with it. If you are not equipped to deal with that, then you need then you need to lower your standards in terms of physical attraction. But Brittany Renner wants to drive the Lamb dude, she wants she wants the Lamborghini for the Honda Accord price. It doesn't work that way. If you want a man like Andrew Tate, you're going to have to deal with the with the challenge that comes with being with a man like Andrew Tate. That's it. My thing is, is like, why not have transparency and have it be polygamous, poly, uh, polyamorous, whatever works for you? That's like, to me, where it loses me with the traditional stuff. I get it. It's All like, right. why can't we have so, transparency? So, okay. If I sign up for that, cool. So how does it... Not okay, so I understand what Brittany is saying uh, here, but this goes back, this goes back to women don't want the truth. That's what she's talking about. So now Brittany is so now Brittany is seesawing. She's like, okay, well, we, no, women don't want to put up with the disrespect, but if that's your thing, then let's have a conversation about it. Cool. Guess what? Guess what happens, Brittany, when when men sit down and have a conversation and tell women, hey, look, I'm gonna be fucking other chicks. Oh my god. Women, ne dude, women have no idea what the fuck they want or need. No, no, no man, no man in a million years. Let's all be realistic, right? No man in a million years is going to meet a girl he likes and go, I want to be polyamorous. Like, come on, that's gay. Let's cut this bullshit. So let's let's be realistic. How does a man show love to a woman? Tell Exclusivity. Me. Nope. Wrong. <laughs> nope. That is how time, resources, wrong. and something else. Time, resources. There it is. So, yeah. Yes, a man shows exclusivity with his tears, his time, his energy, his attention, and his resources. Women show exclusivity through sexual fidelity. This is a tale as old as time itself. Women don't really care about you stepping out on her as long as you don't disrespect her. Don't fuck her at your house. Don't get anybody pregnant. Don't give her an STD, right? And don't let anybody find out. If you can abide by those four basic principles, even though women have their suspicions, they will sweep it under the proverbial rug because nobody knows about it. Where men go wrong, or actually where women go wrong, is that their value is not high enough to be worthy of the respect of not knowing about their cheating. And this is where Brittany Renner finds herself today. The reason why these men cheated on Brittany and let her find out about it is because she didn't have enough value. She had sexual market value, she didn't have a relationship market value. These men didn't value her outside of sex, so it should come as no surprise that these men cheated on her out in the open.
Lamar Odom and Khloe Kardashian. Lamar Odom doesn't respect Khloe Kardashian. Tristan Thompson doesn't respect Khloe. Dude, every other week, Tristan Thompson's banging another IG model. Khloe takes him back every time because she doesn't have any other options. That's just how it is. The only thing good about Kourtney Kardashian is that, well, she's rich. Outside of that, she doesn't have relationship market value. Ladies, if you have relationship market value and you're with a high value guy and you don't find out about his extra marital affairs, then that's a man who likes you. That's a man who truly, that's a man who truly, truly loves you and wants to stay with you. But a man who's messy is a man who does not love you. I don't care what anybody says. It's a good, that's a good way to start. So sexual exclusivity is how a female shows primarily Bingo. primarily that she's interested in a man. He's mm. the only man who has sexual access to me because I can get pregnant, and, I, I, and this man is the only man who can do it. That's how it's done. A man, yes, I'm not saying all men can cheat. I'm not saying all men should cheat. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if I truly love a woman, she won't sit there and go, he shows me his love because he doesn't fuck anyone else. She'll sit there and go, he shows me his love because my bills are paid. Yeah, I'm right. in a Bentley. There it I is. I fly private. There it is. There I it go is. to Dubai anytime I want. Yep. I have a Chanel bag. That I, and I'm not talking about just money. I'm talking about resource and a lifestyle as a whole. That's right. This is not just. Not only that, we show fidelity through claiming her in public. Time, energy, attention, resources, and claiming her as your woman in public me this is the world and most of the world today if you go to moscow and you find a, a big g a rich guy right he has his wife she's pushing a bentley she has the kids she's living in a mansion whatever when he goes to the club with his boys you think he ain't with 19 year old strippers of course, of course he not. fucking course is. He is but she's you. just like whatever don't care i'm the one who has the money don't give a shit so you have to sit there and to a point you have to sit and analyze the 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 difference when you're saying disrespect if you're gonna if you're gonna go through life as a woman and say I only care about the sexual exclusivity of my man, then what you're gonna end up doing is having a bunch of failed relationships and fucking loads of dudes. Uh oh, he just described Britney to a T. Let's rewind that one more fucking time. And you want to know something? You want to know something? Women who walk away from relationships because he cheated—that's just the, that is the female ego and the female id run amok. Like, your vagina is not special, sweetie. It's just not. It's not. There are three and a half billion vaginas on the face of the earth. Okay? Women think that they're they they think that their vaginas are so golden and so magical that it should be it should be enough for him to only fuck her. Oh my god, how dare he go and fuck another woman? I'm out of here. No. Nah, Brittany. No, she fucked up. She fucked up. She fucked a bunch of dudes and left them because we're not going to take their, no, mm -mm, no. The reason why you, the reason why these men disrespected you is because you are not respectable. That's why. A respectable woman's man does not allow other people or her to find out he's fucking other bitches. He's just not going to do it. And at the end of the day, Brittany literally was not worth it. That's why these dudes fucked her, chucked her, and passed her around. Old strippers, of course he fucking is. Can I ask but she's you? just like, whatever, don't care. I'm Look, the one who has right here. Now just watch the money. Don't give a shit. So you have to sit there, and to a point, you have to sit and analyze the 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 difference when you're saying disrespect. If you're gonna if you're gonna go through life as a woman and say I only care about the sexual exclusivity of my man, then what you're gonna end up doing is having a bunch of failed relationships and fucking loads of dudes. There you go. That's it. He just described the last decade of Britney's life in about seven seconds, and Britney knows it. Brittany knows it. That tired, flimsy argument, women aren't taking the disrespect. Well, guess what, sweetheart? If you're not, women who have Britney's, well, we're, we're, women, women aren't taking disrespect anymore. Those are the women who are single that don't have a man. Okay. There has to get a point where you go, you know what? This guy ticks so many boxes. Once a year, twice a year, he's out with his boys, does some dumb shit. I'm just going to pretend I didn't notice because my bills are paid. I'm That's looked right. after. There you go. He, I can tell he cares about me. If I have a problem, he's going to fix it. That's right. He's ticked so many. That's the smart female move as opposed to go, I don't care how good he is to me. He fucked that bitch once, so I'm going to leave and I'm going to get another man who I don't love who will fuck another bitch anyway. And then I'll get another man who I don't wow. love. Wow, look at Brittany getting uncomfortable. Watch, 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 watch. Look at her getting uncomfortable. This is so funny. He's describing her. That's the smart female move, as opposed to go. I don't care how good. Watch he her legs. He Watch her legs. That bitch once, so I'm gonna leave, and I'm gonna get another man who I don't love who'll fuck another bitch anyway, and then I'll get another man Watch. who I don't Ooh. love who'll fuck another bitch. End the cycle of dumb shit. Can I? Mm, let's watch that one more time. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Watch this. He described her to a T, and Britney became visibly uncomfortable. Watch her right leg on the top flex towards the end. 
She wanted to say something, but she didn't. Gonna fix it. He's ticked something. That's the smart female move. As opposed to go, I don't care how good he is to me. He fucked that bitch once, Watch. so I'm gonna Watch. leave and I'm gonna get another man who Watch I don't love. Who'll fuck another bitch anyway, and then I'll get another man Watch. who I don't Look. love. Who'll fuck another bitch. And the cycle mm. dumps you. Can I have to bite the bullet? There it is, boy. Oh, dude, he described her to AT. And Britney, dude, he did not, dude, she didn't have a rebuttal. Because he's right. Uh, Julian H. with the $10 Super Chat says, Great commentary, Donovan. Uh, Pearl and Tate are on fire. Appreciate that. Westside Boy with the $10 Super Chat says, Shout out to Don. Appreciate that very, very much. Uh, Shane will win. Says, Vagina comes standard on all models. Kevin Samuels. Oh, my God. Goddamn right. Examples, though. Way, the way. I have a question. Is there ever cheating that's too far? <laughs> like so if a guy cheats on a girl is there ever a point where she yeah like, there's a lot of cheating there's completely a lot of cheating so, like far. if he if he knocks up another girl would you yes go? all right yes. all right so yes yeah. for, for there we go now pearl is asking the right questions this is where cheating goes too far knocks up another girl give gets an std gives it to his girl uh or starts buying things starts giving his time energy attention and resource to another girl that's where the cheating goes awry first things first i'm a man of my word i don't even think i'm a liar so here's your Clementine. <laughs> Thank you. And he peeled it. What no. a gentleman. Thank you. I'm a gentleman. <laughs> right. So obviously I'm not saying blatantly disrespect. Look at, dude, look. Look at the look on Britney's face. Gentlemen, that is 100% uncut, pure, unadulterated lust. Look at that. Back to your woman. Right? She's your woman. She's your queen. She's the most important thing in the world to you. She needs to be retreated in a way that she feels that, right? But it's unfortunate, because I keep tying back to this baseline point, but the reason I keep going back to this baseline point is to try and explain to everybody at home how simple world the world can be if you go back to the baselines of it. Why do men cheat? Most women don't know. You'll see them all the time. Why do men cheat? Oh, because men are just stupid, and why do men fuck girls uglier than their main chick? Why do men do all this stuff? Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Let's go back to the first thing I've been saying this whole time. Status. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my chick, she's home. Took this one home. Yeah, I got that one. She's chasing me. That's status. Dead. Status. Status. But it's but it, it's stupid to females. I get it. But that's the male world because sexual there access is. is an easy indicator of status. Boom. Because sexual access does not come easy for men. That's why. Even if a man fucks a woman who is not as attractive as his main chick, that's still not easy. It's not easy for men to get laid, gentlemen. It's not. It's not. Men, it's so funny that women shame men for doing what's hard. Oh, my God, he fucked another bitch. Oh, he's such an asshole. Yeah, but you took him back, didn't you? Mighty H, welcome to chat privileges. At Mighty H to welcome him to the TSR family. Mighty H, if you would, put your age and location in the chat. So that's one of the reasons they do it, right? So you have to go back into the baseline of why men even cheat in the first place. I'm telling you, if you're a woman... The smartest thing you can do is look after your man. Make him not want to cheat. Be perfect. There you go. But there's going to be a time across a 20-year marriage. You might just need to be a little bit blind. A little bit. There you go. Just a tiny bit. Just don't look at his phone. So and you'll be cool. Is, so, you'll be so, cool. So, just make sure the bills are paid. He does his jobs to the man. Well, you go, can man. pay your own bills, but, but no, though. Saying, but if you pay your own bills and you don't have a man, sweetie. This is it. We'll talk about that in a second. But I'm not saying allow this for some fucking Joe Schmo. There you I'm go. I'm not saying let some fucking loser pick you up, lock you down, and go cheat on you. There you go. I'm not saying that. There you I'm go. Saying if he's a G and he's doing enough of his other job. Guys, li dude, this dude, this is straight. Guys, this is straight facts. This is straight facts. And I've said this before. I've said this before. The more commas in your net worth, the more a woman, the more leeway a woman will give you in the way of cheating. Okay. You have to be on top of your shit. Listen, when women say, "Well, if my man cheats on me, I'll leave." That's a low status man. High status men? Now a woman can't say, well, I'll let I let my high status man cheat on me. No. They can't say that. But their actions say otherwise. If you are worth, if you are worth, uh, let's see, let's go six, seven, eight, nine. If you're worth nine figures, nine figures, this is into the hundreds of millions of dollars. Not only can you have a hot wife, your side chick can live in your house with you. Nine figures. Nine figures. If you're worth tens of millions of dollars, you can have a wife. You can have a side chick who doesn't live with you, but maybe she lives in the guest house. Maybe she has an apartment downtown. Maybe he goes to see her once or twice, once or twice a week. If you are worth seven figures, you can have the wife, and you can have the side chick who's just the side chick. This means that 
she, she can't live with him. You're only worth seven figures. She can't live with you. He can't be financing her lifestyle, whatever the case may be. But the wife could know about the side chick. Maybe she's in another country, another city, whatever the case may be. If you're worth six figures, if you're worth six figures, you can have the wife or the main chick. You can have the side chick. You can have the side chick. And your, and your woman might have knowledge of her. If you're worth six, if you're worth six figures, maybe your maybe your wife or girlfriend has suspicions, but you're worth six figures, so or you making six, worth six figures, so she might she might turn a blind eye. And if you increase it to seven figures, the more your net worth goes up, the blinder she will become. That's how this works. But if you are making under six figures, if you are making under six figures, gentlemen, if you have a side piece, your woman can't know about it. You got to be high status for your woman to be quote unquote okay with you stepping out occasionally. The higher your net worth, the messier you can be. The lower your net worth, the net your net worth, the more covert you have to be. That's the game, guys. You can call do you can say that it's fair, you can say it's not fair, whatever the case may be. But that's how it works. As for you saying what if you can pay your own bills, then then what's the reality you face? Just like I described earlier, I'm going to decide that the thing that I prioritize above everything, above his resource, above the amount he cares for me, you'll see men cheat on a woman and then cry his eyes out trying to get that woman back. He yep. still loves you. Yes. It's not the same yes. as if you cheated. He Thank loves you. you with all his heart. He'd die for you. He'd take a bullet for you. And he'd still fuck that bitch. Doesn't matter. That's right. It's a different game for men, right? So you're sitting here going, well, I don't, I'm going to prioritize his sexual exclusivity over all of his other, cal all of his other attributes. You're just going to end up having endless failed relationships. There it is. Fucking too many dudes. Yeah. And then what's going to happen is your psychology is going to break. Yep. Because females don't like to accept the fact that if you sleep with enough men and you get rid of the stigma around a new dick, your instant answer is constantly new dick. Ah, I didn't text oh, me today. Fuck wow. it. Someone else. Ah, wow. he's used to me. Fuck it. I'll cheat. Ah, he was this. I'll get a new boyfriend. And then you end up just jumping on cock all day and you're fucking done. You need to. The, the reality is you have to come to a point where you get a guy and he ticks boxes and you're like, you know what? I'm wifey. I've got the Bentley. He does whatever he does, but my bills are paid. That's so it. When, when would you say? When would you say it's too far? I'm, I'm just curious if there's a line that you would, like. If he spends money on another girl. Yeah. Listen. Listen. It goes too far when you knock the bitch up. Okay. It goes too far. And Devin, uh, if you would uh, be a doll, be a doll. Uh, bring me a ginger ale, please, with ice. Cheating goes too far when you knock up when you knock up another woman, you give your woman an STD, right? Or you spend money on her. But the higher your net worth, the higher your net worth, gentlemen. Thank you. The higher your net worth, gentlemen, the more messy you can be. I just gave you I dude, I just gave you the diagram. So let's listen to Tate's answer. Well, if he, like, when does it... Okay, that's a good and, question. And other second question, do you think that men ever fall in love with side chicks? Very good question. And this is a long and in-depth answer, but it's a good question. Let me peel my clementine. But, um, no, mm -hmm. but it's a good question. Where is too far? I think publicly disrespecting is too far. There it is. So, like, you'll you'll notice. Let's talk... There it is. There it is, guys. I've been saying this for years, man. Just don't let her find out. Don't, dis don't disrespect her. The Moscow G, all right? Let's take an oligar, a billionaire from Moscow. He has his wife. He has the girls he's in the club with. The girls he's in the club with wouldn't fucking dare message his wife. They wouldn't dare step Hell out no. of line. Like, they know their place, right? So if there's a hierarchy and they know their place, that's one way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Spending money on a girl, sh certainly, yeah, because men show love primarily through our, through our hard work. Not just through our resource, but through our hard work. If you take a man who's not particularly rich, he shows his wife love by getting up every day. Going right. to work nine to five, working his ass off and paying those bills. That's how he shows love. That's why he does it for his wife and his children. Most men are out here working bullshit jobs, carrying trash. Yep. They're doing that to show love. So show, giving money, yeah, that would be a far more scary indicator than just sex. Let me give you all an example. I don't know if you all know my history, but I used to run a webcam business a long time ago. Don't want to talk about it, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I had a bunch of girls who used to sit online and talk to guys and they had laptops, right? This is a long time ago. And I used to sit and say to some of the webcam girls, I'd say, this man who is sitting in and logging in every night and sending you money every day uh -huh. and telling you he's obsessed with you from the other side of the world and missing out on time with his family to sit here and talk to you and send you money. That is more cheating than if he just went out and banged something. There it if is. he went out and banged something and came Dude, home. There th Dude, there you go. Oh, my God. That is incredibly profound. That's incredibly profound. When a man has sex with another woman, that's not cheating. 
But when a man gives another woman his time, his energy, his attention, and his resources, which is exactly what these guys were doing when he had his webcam business, that is worse than sticking your dick in another chick. Women like Brittany Renner get their panties all in a bunch over shit that doesn't matter. This is why she's single. Then done. But he's sitting here giving you his time, his money, oh my God. his affection. Unbelievable. That's cheating for a man. Jesus for a man to sit Christ. there and give money and time away. Wow. Right? Yeah. So you have to stop this idea of sexual exclusivity. Yes, that's for females. That's how females show their love to men. It's not <laughs> how high status, at least, males show their love to females. And, and anyone who wants to disagree with me, call me wrong, call me misogynist, whatever bullshit. Look at a history book. Every king, every sultan, every conqueror, every emperor, every knight, mm. all of them, all of them had made Maidens, wives, all of them. That, that's history. What level of no. G do you have to be to be allowed to cheat? Well, I, know. It's not about even being allowed to cheat. I'm not even <laughs> saying that. And it also depends on the partner you're with. I'm not trying to sit here and advocate for men to run around and fuck a bunch of women. I'm not saying that. That's I'm what just, you're doing. No, but I'm not. No, 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 no. Let him no. explain. Let him land. I'm Let not, him land. It's okay. about to come. Now, watch this. Let him land. No, but I'm not. Then. I, I'm not. What I'm actually trying to do is describe the baseline unfortunate realities of human dynamics. That's it. Mm. And, and I'm trying to explain now to the world that any woman can get a man who will not cheat on her if she's prepared to sacrifice a bunch of other Things, perhaps, there you go. Right? In the olden days, it was different. Perhaps looks, maybe resources. The world was a different place. It was a completely different place, and it was better. Now it's all fucked up. It's fucked up on every level. And men, especially the high-status men, most of them have struggled so hard to become high-status. Yep. They've been through so much shit to get where they are. It's like telling him, if you climb this mountain, you can go to a candy store. And he climbs to the top of the mountain, and the second he's in the candy store, after one piece of candy, that bitch is saying, no, no more candy. Fuck he's that. like, no, I just climbed this mountain. I just got rich. I just went through X, Y, Z. I finally got here. I'm finally in the candy store. Now you're telling me I can only have one piece of candy? Okay. What man's going to do that? Did you hear this? What he just described was perfectly apropos. Perfectly apropos. Guys, these women are not listening. These women are not listening. They have, no, like, this analogy was so spot on. But they weren't listening. All they're doing is letting it go in one ear after the other. Can I? Da, 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 da. Do, you think, do you think that men owe a woman loyalty if she was there from the beginning? Absolutely. Yes. They absolutely yes. owe that woman lo loyalty. Oh, sorry, sexual loyalty. That's what I no. mean. Sexual, uh, sexual no. Sexual exclusivity yeah, yeah. is different. Men, sorry, I mean, sexual exclusivity and loyalty are completely disconnected Bingo. from males. Thank Nobody you. wants to talk about this, but it's the unfortunate reality is true. I am telling you, you can get a man, he can go on a holiday, can fuck some stripper, can come home, and you can lie detector test him. Do you love your wife? Would you die of for course, your wife? Of course, thank you. Would you take you. a bullet for your wife? Dude. The, he'll pass the lie detector test. He loves her with all his heart. Guys, listen. Peter Sellers, I know a lot of you guys don't know, don't know who he is. I know a lot of you guys don't know who he is. Peter Sellers was the actor who played Lieutenant or I'm sorry, Detective Jacques Clouseau on the Pink Panther franchise movies back in the 1960s. Peter Sellers is, he was an incorrigible womanizer, okay? He was an incorrigible womanizer. His first wife, his first wife stayed with him for 12 years. He loved that woman. He loved her. But he kept cheating on her, Donovan. That doesn't, no, he loved her. He loved her, even though he cheated on her. Men, we can compartmentalize feel. We can compartmentalize act from emotion. This is just how we're made. Finally, after 12 years, Mrs. Sellers says, you know what, Peter? I'm done. I'm out of here. It crushed Peter Sellers. It crushed him. Over the next, I don't know, 20, 25 years, he had three or four other wives, right? His relationships, you know, his relationships were all a dumpster fire, blah, 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 blah. Mainly because, oh, my God, you married me and you're fucking other bitches, blah, 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 blah. At 54 years old, Peter Sellers died of a massive heart attack. In his wallet, on his body, they found one picture. That picture was of his first wife. He carried that woman's picture until the day he died. What Tate is saying is absolutely correct. Here's another story. Desi Arnaz, Lucille Ball. I love Lucy. Desi Arnaz was married to Lucy. Desi Arnaz was fucking bitches left and right. Left and right. Finally, Lucy, I had enough. I'm out of here, right? I think 10 or 15 years later, Desi Arnaz found out that Lucy was sick at some hospital. This dude rode 20 miles on horseback to be at her bedside. This is 10 years later. It's not the same. And women constantly project, they constantly, it's not projecting their insecurities, 
but they project their nature onto us. Women foolishly think that we operate the same way they do. They think that if we have sex with another woman, it's because we don't love them anymore. No. The reason they think this is because, th is because when they have sex with another man, it's because they don't love their man anymore. It does not work the same way. It does not work the same way. Um, King Tate with the uh, five and a half British pounds, four and a half British pounds says, Andrew Tate is the top, top G. Do you agree, my friend? And good points on this, by the way, completely agree. Yeah, he is. Uh, Elijah Stallings, member for 16 months. <laughs> says, top D strikes again. Excellent stream, Mr. Sharp. Appreciate that. Busy is he 87 with the $10 super chat says, exactly. They've got fun or they've got to have fun in their 20s. The guys they didn't give time to finally get to have it later in life and they are mad about it. Exactly. Alvin Sam, $2 Super Chat says, hypergamy does not imply male sexual fidelity. Exactly. You do anything for her. It's just, it's just pussy. It's not okay. a big deal. It's but I, not. I feel like, I guess my Merch. question would be then is like, how do you view sex? Because I, I like sex at the end of the day is spiritual unification. I feel like I've got. No. No, Brittany. <laughs> sex for women is spiritual unification. Sex for men, it's like shaking a hand. It's like taking a piss. Brittany literally just sat here and validated everything I said over the last three minutes. It, it really depends on how you view sex. She's trying to shame Andrew Tate for his male nature, treating sex like taking a piss or shaking a hand. Sweetheart, this is how we're made. Men don't view or receive sex the same way women do. Never have, never will gone through a lot of different stuff i've had a lot of different experiences where i did not value myself so i never had a man that valued me so it's like yeah you rack up guys and guys you shouldn't be texting back or whatever but i feel like there i understand that there is a difference with how men view sex and how they move around in the world but it's like sex is a sacred thing no matter a male or female is doing it so that's why for me like my biggest like sex is not sacred for men now, now, now what she's doing is she's trying to virtue signal. And Jen says she's speaking from a female perspective. This is, th yes, this is projection. This is all projection, guys. And it's, you can see her, you can see her struggling to, you can see her struggling to, to maybe try to, nope, she can't do it. She cannot think about sex the way men do because she's not a man. She's not a man. This is like us complaining about, well, oh my God, why, dude, I had sex with this girl. She is a virgin. Now she's in love. Hey, guy, hey, guess what? That's part of the gig, fam. That's how they're made. The hardest for me to understand is like, this is such a, a, a sacred thing. And it's just being, it's like a, taking a piss for a guy. Yep. Can, I, can I just say something? You sure you weren't making love to somebody that was having sex? Oh, I'm sorry? Oh. You, weren't, you sure that you weren't making love to somebody with, that was just having sex? A and T, that's a nice, that's Have I, uh -oh. No, th that's what it sounds like to uh -oh. me. It sounds like as women, they make love mm -hmm. to men that are just having sex. Yeah, um, I agree with Auntie Jenny. Uh, the first, I don't know, three or four guys a woman has sex with, they're making love. They're making love. After that, it's just fucking, Right. After that, it's just fucking. Don't get me wrong. Sex is always going to be more emotional for women than it is to men. But this is a very good point Auntie Jenny's making. Right. That's but the that, difference. That's not the point. But, she but my thing is... Okay. I think, not all I the think, time. So I think when men hear that, though, it's like if it was sacred to you, you would have waited until you were married. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, my goodness. Holy smokes. Wow. Pearl with the uppercut. Pearl with the uppercut. Sex is sacred. Sex is spiritual unification. Your dating history suggests otherwise, Ms. Renner. You see, when you're a hoe, you don't get to say sex is sacred. You don't get to say that sex is spiritual unification. No, your actions tell us that you too also view sex like taking a piss or shaking a hand. Brittany Renner acts like men in her relationships. Most women act like men in relationships. If sex was so sacred, if it was such spiritual unification and important and all this other kind of stuff, you would have waited until you're married to have it, number one. Number two, you wouldn't have given it to every Tom, Dick, and Harry in the NBA or in the rap game. Holy God.
Right. No, I yeah, get, I get yeah. that. But the, the reality is, is that the world is not so black and white. So mm -hmm. I understand that there are these things in place that worked and made sense. And now we're approaching an era that like, we don't know what's going to happen, but there's gray area. You've had sex. I've had sex. She's had sex. We've had sex with different guys. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that we're damaged goods. We're used goods. I understand. Oh yes. That's exactly what it means. Ms. Renner. That's exactly what it means. And what makes it even worse for Brittany is that she has a child. Man, dude, it, dude, it's over for Britney. Everybody knows who she's fucked. She wrote a book. She's leaning into the side chick thing. Like, it's over for Britney, man. Like, it's over for her. Hoop Jargon Media Network says it's 304 here in Cali. Coincidence? Nope. <laughs> I understand status is a big part of that. I understand that sex is viewed differently, but I feel like... You should not. Here we go. If you're if you're looking at face value, I can understand why you would be judged from your past. But if if I'm a guy interested in you, I don't care about what you've done. But, but Unbelievable. If see, here we go. This is more projection. This is more projection. If I'm a guy and I look at you, I don't care what you've done, Brittany. You're not a guy. You're not a guy. You're not a man. You're a woman. Just because you tell us that if you were a guy, you wouldn't care about our past, doesn't mean we don't care about your past, sweetie. It does not, like you can say woulda, coulda, shoulda. We don't teach men about about the way women should be. We teach women about the way they, we teach men about the way women are. Brittany wants men to be, Brittany wants men to forgive her of her, of her promiscuous proclivities in order to be taken seriously for a long-term relationship of consequence. It don't work that way. You can wish all you can wish upon a star all you want to. It doesn't work that way. No, no, this is like, the, the, like men. Men do though. That that's the thing. Like, like a, a virgin's more valuable to a man than a girl that's had sex with there you go. multiple men. That's it. Like it just is what it is. There's a limit. Ah, uh, but uh, yeah. the modern man's solution even, is even, not even, a virgin. A modern man needs a partner, somebody that's okay, actually some, smart at, and can survive it, in the world of today. Oh the the and that's going to be a lived woman. Most, the men with the most choice are going to pick women that are more pure in general. Right. The ones that are already like, self-made, I guess so. But that's the thing. The reality too, is, like. the reality is that there's a lot of men out there, especially in the world that we live in today, that need a partner. So it's time for those masses of men to start respecting women for the role they can play in their lives. No. We don't have, we don't have, no, we don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. <laughs> we can do whatever the fuck we want. Like, I don't do, think average men expect women do you know to what be it virgins. Is? Do you know what it is? But it's this rhetoric that actually then is pumped into these minds and creates what people are not complaining about the misogynistic world. No, do you know That's what well, it is. And even in schools. This is all word salad. Let's take a look at this woman's Instagram. So her name is Denalva, uh, Denalva de Santana Tavares. Not really sure what this know what this is yep here we go tattoos she's not bad looking actually she's actually quite attractive to be honest with you it's just it's just too bad she's acting oh 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 she's a little oh she's a little pudgy oh yeah oh this is oh this is another this <laughs> this is another attractive woman who doesn't go to the gym yeah never mind yeah, this is another attractive woman who clearly does not go to the gym. This is why she's all covered up and in black. Because her body's a hot mess. Clearly this is photoshopped. You can tell she doesn't work out. Et cetera, et cetera. And, and, and of course we've got the simps. We've got the simps in here gassing her up. Yeah, there's nothing special about this woman. There's nothing high value about this woman. Oh, there's the big hoop earrings. Yep, yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Be, it's why like is it, why is it, mis all why is it misogynistic for men to prefer, prefer women that are more it's pure. not that it's but it's not that's not the problem the problem is now uh, you just said it was the problem you just said it was the problem sweetheart oh listen the maths is very simple you've got people like andrew tate talking about these things with such clarity and it makes so much sense because it is true right and then you have men that are in these situations where just average, working an average job, and they cannot fulfill whatever definition uh, is called to be a man. In oh, yeah. So basically she's saying that if you're an average man, you can't have a mindset like Andrew Tate. And to, to a degree, she is correct. You can't be a top G if you're, if you're an average guy. 
This is why we teach men that you need to become above average. In these yes, they can. And that's no, what they, he said. He did no. say that. Yes, they can. No, uh, A nine to five man can do it. But then again, but wait, wait. This is the thing. What we're talking about as a man, and this is why I say it's very important for us to understand the person that we're speaking to. And I'm very glad that you clarified everything that you mean. Not every man is like Andrew Tate. Not she keeps she keeps talking about the she keeps talking about the top one percent of men. What she what she is doing, what she is trying to do is she is trying to say if you're not a top one percent man that you can't have standards. You can't have you can't have standards. You can't have standards unless you're a top one percent man, and that's just not true. You can have standards as a top five percent man. There, dude, there are dude, there are men in the world with ten percent of Andrew Tate's. Uh, 10% of Andrew Tate's net worth. Guess what? He's still a top G. Still a top G. She keeps trying to, and, she, and what she's doing is she's saying that if you're not an Andrew Tate, then you're a loser. That's what she's telling us. Every man is going to be able to even realistically demand for certain things from Here a woman. Go. So that? the same way I'm Yeah, but it's it's interesting. The average woman... The average woman... But, here, but, but here's the thing. Average men know that they can't demand things from certain kinds of women. Average men know what their sexual market value is. Again, like we said at the top of the show, the world reminds men on a daily basis how average they are. Men are, dude, men are not delusional. Men are not delusional. The world does not allow men to be delusional. Average men don't expect to have access to above average women. Average women, on the other hand, think that they are entitled to above average men. And therein lies the problem. Way women need to compromise if it comes to a man who is going to cheat on her because he's a top G. It's the same way men are going to have to compromise and stop you know, blabbing men, about purity yeah, yeah, when men, they can't do you know that. Right? You men, just men, didn't, men, you didn't no. get none of what you, you didn't get none of what I you were saying. My... No, she didn't. Yeah, every time she comes, yeah, uh, Auntie Jenny is calling her out here. What she said had absolutely nothing to do with what Andrew said. Point. That was the whole point. Duh. That, what point? Well, duh. What? Because you just quoted him. You just said about his no. thing, and you didn't. No, know. only you did I get clapped. I understand. made my point. You I said the average man does not have what he takes to demand you know for what? a virtual you know, award. You know, you know, what's the difference? He already said that. He already said and that. And I reiterated you know in my own words for my own content for my page, and so what? Oh, there it is. The truth comes out. Yeah. What Auntie Jenny just did is she just. Called her out. She said she just basically regurgitated what Andrew Tate said. And that's what happened. Right? Uh -huh. Is that too many women, they see regular guys and they feel they're settling. You're not settling. You're getting what you deserve. But you can't well, You're not settling. You know, You're not but, settling. But, but, but the difference is men know this. Like yes. Most Thank you. The, oh, the average men know. The average men know. They were kind of. But the difference is... But that's different. what's wait, enough wait, saying. Wait, wait, wait. The difference is average men know they don't deserve a 10. They that's right. They know they don't deserve an 8. Thank they you. They don't even deserve a 7. Right. They go messaging them on... Thank you. That's exactly what I said. The average man knows he deserves an average woman. But the average woman thinks she's entitled to an above average man. The stories no, and no, all this dumb no, stuff that's just though. ugly. Like most men in history haven't even reproduced. And oh. so it's like men oh. know, but we, the women are the ones that are delusional. There's that's regular men out there. There's regular men out there. Shoot your shot at Chris Hemsworth. There's Chris who? Hemsworth. There's regular men out there that <laughs> yeah, were. Uh, Chris Evans, actually. Yeah, Lizzo shot her shot at Chris Evans. Lizzo shot her shot at Chris Evans. But let some fat dude, you know, shoot a shot at, I don't know. <sighs> Gee, I can't even think of a, of a worthwhile woman. And she's like, oh, my God, what are you doing wasting your time? He's called a creeper and a stalker. That will have you down. Two, a two. Yeah, but can I just say, people are I watching Tate, not that. understanding that Tate is part of that 1% of success. How good do you think that is? And they <laughs> think that they can demand the same thing. No, no, no they don't. No, they don't. Average men know that they cannot demand what above average men can demand. They know this. Pearl, this is exactly what Pearl just said. This is why the women are delusional. Average men know they cannot demand certain things from above average women. But the average woman thinks that she can have an above average man. That's literally what she's saying. They can okay. demand well, purity. They, they, one, second, one second, one second. Sorry, sorry. I understand the point you're all making, but let's understand something. To the sexual marketplace, females have always been, and still to a degree, are the gatekeepers. Yes. It's men will, you can think about it in a very simplistic way. This is not the case, but let's simplify it for the sake of argument. Imagine men will run around and fuck anything, and women are the ones who say yes or no. You are the gatekeepers that have all the power.
Yep. And this is what's actually well as far as sex goes. Truly interesting about the sexual marketplace because whenever women go, there's not enough good men. Nah, nah, nah. Then why are you fucking? The, of course, why would they be good if you don't make them be good? You're fucking losers. So, that's, so, that's so good there it is. So, Thank you. Women, so you're talking about I'm saying that you know the man at a certain level can't do certain things. Da, da, da. If you were with Joe Schmo and he wasn't treating you the way you believe Joe Schmo should treat you, then why are you with leave? Him? Cecily. Like you women, women have the gatekeeping. So if you get Joe Schmo and he treats you like you're you're his queen and treats you perfect, good. If you get a fucking guy at the absolute upper echelons of value and and you still don't aren't happy with what he's giving you, then leave. Women are the gatekeepers. You women actually have all of the power. This is what's beautiful to, about the whole thing. Yeah. Women are constantly complaining. You and women are the ones that end relationships. Women in ninety nine point nine percent of relationships, y'all, they do. They end 99.9% .9 of relationships. You ask the average woman how many times she's been dumped. One, maybe two, sometimes zero. You ask the average guy how many times he's been dumped. He has to think to himself, okay, how many times have I done the dumping? Women are the gatekeepers to sex and to a large degree relationships once the relationship is established. It is the women who are leaving these relationships, not men. You have all the power. You're the ones who get to choose. Do you know who you should be mad at? For all this shit, I'll tell you who you should be mad at. Uh oh. Do you know who threw away all the female power in the sexual marketplace? Promiscuous females. Boom. Because now you got chicks who will bang anybody without trying. So there why should a dude get up and try? No, Do you, you have any no. idea how hard it is to actually be? Let me make this clear. Go on, sir. Do you have any idea how hard it is to actually be, no bullshit, a man? And I say this and women go, oh, yeah, dude, that a. As soon as most women encounter any kind of problem, Woo! the first thing they do is turn to a man. <laughs> there it is. Their man, their dad, the mechanic, the police, a man. If you actually put a woman in front of a problem and go, no men, they're like, oh, sh whoa, fuck. They're, it's a mental breakdown. Yes. Men, day after day, especially if you're a high-level man. Let me make it something clear from my life. I'll talk about from personal experience. I'm not just looking after me. I'm not just looking after my chick. I'm the guy and about 300 people's phone books that they call when anything big goes wrong. You get arrested in Russia, you need extraction from Ukraine, you need a million dollars, whatever it is, Kazakhstan, abduction, they call me. I'm the first phone call. I'm fixing 400 different lives. I'm a problem solver. Chicks can't fix fucking any of this shit, no. right? This is how hard it is to be a man. And it's amazing because society expects it of you, but so do women. If, if you had a man, be honest, you had a man and you went to your man and said, Oh, I've got this problem. It's uh, I can't fix this. It's broken. The car tire's broken. And he went, I don't know. You would dry up. Like, yes, you'd be like, well, fuck absolutely. what the fucking point are you? <laughs> right, the, you? Right. That's the truth. <laughs> right. You could sit here and go, oh, we'd call a mechanic. No, you wouldn't. You'd look at your man and go, what do you mean you can't fix it? I'll do it myself. Waste, she, man. And this, yeah, and this is what she's saying about your man will get up and go, and you know what's beautiful about masculinity? A bunch of times a man will go up and he doesn't have a clue how to fix it himself. Mm -hmm. But he'll go, don't worry, baby, okay. Mm -hmm. And he'll stand up with no money and no clue and he'll go out there and fucking try and find a way because as a man, you need to be useful. It is so difficult to be a man. You have no idea the amount of pressure that we're under from society and you from the women kidding. we even want to associate mm -hmm. with. On a whole, it's difficult. So you have to keep all these things in mind. It's hard. But can I ask you a question? You see nice. what you just said about, yeah, the top G, that if they had money, you can fly planes and fly that. Drop it down to if you were earning, like, say, 50000 a year. Yeah. Oh. Couldn't you be that same person amongst your peers? 100% you That's could. That's what I'm trying to say. 100% you could. And also, also you have to... Uh, money uh, doesn't make you a top G. Uh, no, no, money's an amplifier. So yes. that's, that's the first thing about money. money there you amplifies. go. That's all right. Men can make money. Money does not make men. That's right. If you're a dork and you get rich, you're a rich dork. There you go. That's <laughs> if right. you're a G and you get rich, you're a top G. Yep. Right? So that's, that's right. the first thing about money. And mm. I agree with you. Look at Brittany. She's getting turned on. But traditionally... And this is the baseline. And once again, when I say these things, I'm not looking to be attacked for being misogynist. I'm just commenting on how I view the world and how I see things. Traditionally, a man primarily gives his attention to a female to get sex. Right. And she gives him sex back to get the attention. That's the swap, right? There you go. So if I'm a dude and I want sex from a girl, I give her attention. I talk to her. I hang out with her. I spend time with her. Eventually, I get the sex. That's how it works. But the higher value you are as a man, oh, the more valuable your attention is, the more valuable your you time go. is, that's right. the less you have to give. There it's it like is. like potency, right? So I can give five minutes to a chick, and that's worth two weeks of some other dude's time. <laughs> but that's the reality. So where you are on the scale is just basically how much of your time you have to give. Now, you can still give all your time to a woman, treat her like a queen, be respected by your peers. She can be happy with you. I'm not saying she will be any. In fact, I'll argue she'll be happier with that man. Then she'll be with a fucking guy like me. I'm not even out here saying I'll make chicks happy. I'm not even saying that. I'm saying that 
She'll get the amount of time that she's going to want from that man. The amount of attention is linked to his status. But at a true high-level status of man, it's two DMs. Boom, boom. Ten That's seconds. it. Ten That's seconds. it. And, 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 and here's something else. Here's something else to comment on. Here's something else. Women don't want attention from men who have time to give it to them. Let me repeat that. Women do not want the attention from the men who have time to give it to them. Women want the attention of men who don't have time for them. Because a man who doesn't have time for women is a man who is about his shit. This is how this works. This is how this works. Women don't, dude, listen, women have been telling us exactly what they want and what they don't want for the last two and a half decades. They have. Men being the adaptive creatures we are, we have adapted. And surprise, surprise, they got a problem with it. Technomage B5 with the $10 super chat says average men are going MGTOW because women have unrealistic standards and ridiculous family court laws to back them up. That's exactly, that's a, that dude, that is 2,000% right. Uh, Brisk Clown, member for four months, <laughs> says average guy sometimes will level up to get the type of woman he wants while modern women will do zero to keep the man she wants. Wow. Wow. Very nice. Very good. Uh, over 2,000 watching, over 2,000 watching. I'm at 979 likes. Let's get us to 1,000 likes, guys. Let's get us to 1,000 likes. Let's keep going. This kind of, this seconds, kind of, this kind of leads into my next question. Okay. All right, guys. Let's take a second to hear from our channel sponsor. Florida cops are searching for sleep during man, man, when she's the good. Companion, I want to go monogamous with my sponsor. Help support the channel. Thank you, guys, again. Virtual Shield VPN, guys. Use promo code PEARL. Is there a promo code on there? Yeah, support Pearl, guys. Do women prefer to be monogamous with a low-value man or share a high-value man? Oh, my oh, God. Look at, look at society and you tell me. Yeah, monogamous. right. Ask me. Wait, so so let's ask let's ask the, right. the single ladies. Here what would go. you prefer? I would prefer someone who's monogamous. I left a... Stop the cap. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't, because all the guys you fucked were non-monogamous. Fuck out of here. Situation where I got the Bentley, I had all that, I had the kids, I had that. That was great. I want a companion. I want... Real and, and this is why you're single, Brittany. You had the you had the Bentley, you had the status, blah 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 blah. Because but because he had the audacity to stick his dick in another vagina other than yours, you decided to give all that up. And now look where you are, a single mom doing fucking side chick commercials for fast food restaurants for money. Fuck out of here. Real love, and to me, what monogamy means to me is someone who's committed to themselves. Mm -hmm. That's like that's, the that's, answer is within you. This and is to be this honest, I feel babble. like again, like the. Sex has been lost in translation and what it means. I don't care man or female. It's been lost. as It's so sacred. So for me, I have kind of taken those blinders off where I'm like, okay, he has to be here. I'm okay with dating the trainer in Austin, Texas. That's just where I'm at. Like, I don't need a certain thing because I know what I'm wanting. Most guys in that percentage are not going to give me. So I would rather have a monogamous man than someone who can do whatever. Always. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. See, this is why Brittany Renner is just like the average modern woman. Average modern women, when they are on a podcast with 56,000 people watching, 1.2 million people seeing this, they have to say, they, this is a trick question, guys. This is a chick, th this, th this is a trick question. I'd rather have a monogamous man. Brittany, sweetheart, 30% of men from the ages of 18 to 35 are either virgins or have not had sex in the past year. If you wanted a monogamous man, you could find one. They are all around you. She told us herself. She told us herself. She told us herself. She's got guys in her DMs. she got guys, guys blowing up her DMs. She doesn't want any of those guys. What Brittany Renner is looking for is the monogamous loyal alpha. I got news for you, Brittany. They don't exist. They just don't. Oh, so, oh, no, wait, uh, so you think the personal trainer is going to be monogamous? They're like known for cheating, no? Well, I mean, I'm not, I don't. Here's here's yeah. my thing. Like, I get it. Like, yeah. I, I don't generalize people because I'm one of oh, the God. one of the most misunderstood people online as well. Uh, we and I feel like there's a lot more to me, and I don't like to just put everyone in a box. I'd so, like to get to know people. So no, I'm no, stop it. Now here comes the virtue signaling, Brittany. Sweetie, we know exactly we know exactly who you are. Like we do. I'm sure that there are I'm I'm sure that there are elements about you that we don't know, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter, man. Like we know who you are. You're dude, you're basically a high class hoe, man. 
You're a bitch who gave her pussy away for free to high-status men. And now those high-status men don't want to fuck with you because you told them, told on all of them in a book. I'm not going to just say, oh, well, he, of course he's going to cheat on me. Like, no. Okay, okay. Well, well guess what, sweetie? Then you're going to be single. You're going to be single. See, Britney, see Britney still, dude, Britney still has that ego. She still has that ego. She thinks that... She thinks that her value is so high that a high-status man would never cheat on her. You fucking kidding me? Are you fucking serious with this? Britney thinks that her value is so... Dude, how arrogant... How arrogant does a woman like Britney have to be? How arrogant does she have to be? To actually believe that a high-status man would be monogamous to her. You gotta be kidding me. Would you would you take a guy that makes thirty five thousand dollars a year and had a dad bod? Shit. Had a dad bod? Yeah. Dad bod. I feel like for me, Merch. I would want someone who <laughs> Sorry, answer the question. Ahead. Okay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I pour into myself, mm -hmm. and I'm accountable for my shit. Just say no, Brittany. I'm aware of what I got going on. I'm not gonna have a a mom bod. I'm in the gym. I'm, I had a baby a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. I'm in the gym four to five times a week. Mm -hmm. So I would want someone who can match at least the the work ethic. Now, when it comes to money. I know for me, I want to be able to, I do not want to rely on a man. I have, I have literally done that before. It didn't pan out in my favor. Okay. Yeah. Why not, Brittany? Why not? It didn't pan out for you because you decided to leave the relationship on some ego shit. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Okay. Cause what happens is you get the rug ripped from under you and then now you fucking get out, bitch. Give me the motherfucking keys. It, it is. It isn't that. No, Brittany, baby, you decided to leave the relationship. You decided to leave the relationship. And if PJ kicked you to the curb, it's because of something you did. She's trying to act like PJ just decided to divorce her for just no reason. No, sweetie, you filed for divorce. The reason you're single is because you divorced your husband two weeks after you had the kid. So for me, the lifestyle I want, I am responsible for. Mm -hmm. So I don't look for a man to make X amount of dollars mm -hmm. because anything that I want, I'm going to get myself. Well, because in my head... Women, she's not going to be attracted. She's not going to be attracted to the guy. She's not going to be attracted to the rip guy who makes 35 a year. This is not, it's, it's just not going to work. It doesn't work that way. I feel like a guy's just as likely to cheat if he's in the top 20% of like looks. Yep. That's right. Just as likely as okay. Money. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like it just yep. doesn't. Let me, let, let me ask. Let me ask a quick question, just so I can clarify something, because I understand your points. You're saying you want a partner, a life partner. Are you sure? And I'm not accusing. I'm genuinely asking. Are you sure you're not confusing the amount of time the man spends with you with his monogamy? Because they're different things. Because what happens a lot of the time if a man's out here chasing chicks, he's barely home. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. But imagine you had a man who was home seven nights a week. He was always home. I'm talking about like an hour. Or, like dur during his work lunch, you don't even notice. <laughs> then would you even give a shit about monogamy of if you had all not. of his time of effectively? Not. Would you of really care? Not. No, I still would care because I. Unbelievable! She would still care. This is, dude. The ego of this woman is—it's incredible. I feel like that's still just an hour a day, and we're not. It's not really quality time. I feel I really have been in so many different situations. Again, the trainer in Austin to the NBA player, baby daddy. Like I, I have seen all of that stuff, and this is just my personal experience and perspective to where I want someone that sees the value in the Grand Canyon. I want somebody who. I understand. Okay, like, so so that's a good point, and that's. It's it's, so I'll just ask the first question. I'm gonna ask the second okay. question. The realization you've come to is an interesting one. It is something that happens, especially to, to females as they mature. Don't you think it's strange or why do you think that zero women on earth choose those kind of men who they perhaps have slightly lower status but oh. are, are more likely to be uh, loyal to them and be monogamous, wow. etc. In the modern world, Woo. like I said, the world's changed. Uh -huh. Why do you think zero women choose them when they're at the peak of their choices? Ooh. So when a woman is 19 and she can go anywhere she wants, every man wants her, she can go on any yacht in Miami, she can get flown out to Dubai, when she has all the choices in the world, why is she completely uninterested in those kind of men? And because the world is flat, Mr. Tate. That's why. Because the world is flat. Instagram has made the world flat. Instagram has made the world flat, and it has given women, it's given modern women a false sense of abundance. That's why. They think that they can, they think they can sport fuck their way around the yachts in Miami and then be able to lock one of these yacht guys down when they're in their 30s, and it doesn't work that way. And then once she gets to a certain age of maturity and all, there's a whole new generation of girls who have all the choices. Mm -hmm. Then they sit there and go, you know what? 
I deserve monogamy and da da, and they all of a sudden want to grow up and mature. Yeah. Why don't does why does no woman decide that when she actually is at her most valuable? I I feel like for like I said, I don't like to speak for all women. I just speak for myself. But I know for me that I was looking for a man for a lifestyle, something that I was oh, not yeah. able to do individually by myself. So that's why it's like, well, yeah, I want to be able to do this, do that. I want to go for the football player that was just on GQ. And in reality, now I realize, well, okay, there's a lot that comes with that. I can make my own money. I don't necessarily need that. Type Type of guy for the happiness that I'm looking for. Again, seeing out you in the Grand Canyon is a lot. Well, she's basically echoing the sentiments of uh, the Nigerian queen. I don't need a man, but I want a man. I don't need a man, but I want a man. Brittany, Brittany is indirectly telling us that she doesn't need a man, but she wants one. I can get what I want, blah, 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 blah. Okay, great, but guess what, sweetie? A man is not going to be attracted to you if he doesn't think you need him. It just doesn't work that way. If you're going to be the type of bitch you're like, I can get whatever I want, okay, well then go for the $35,000 a year personal trainer. But you don't want him because he's because he is low status. A lot different than like, okay, here's money for this, here's allowance for that. And well, that's here's the an hour of my time. As you asking why a man that is 20, 21, 23 is not a top G, like a no. 30, 40-year-old well, man. No, uh, the point your, your age actually dictates your sort of maturity to a large extent. Well, I'm arguing... Yeah, no shit. I'm arguing the point. The point I'm trying to make is that what I actually think happens, especially uh, in the modern world, because the modern world's all fucked up and nothing's the way it's supposed to be, the traditional life path of, of a female is she's 17... She's 18, she's 19, and her value is massively inflated. And I don't blame her. Of course it's massively inflated. Imagine being 19 years old, have achieved exactly fucking zero That's in right. your life, knowing nothing. You put makeup on and, and— He's describing Britney. Listen closely. Sports stars, billionaires, Dude, actors, the most important famous people on the planet, the richest men on the planet are begging for your attention. The ego you're going to develop— Let's all be honest, right? The ego you're going to develop is going to be mon you fucking mental. I'm special. I'm so gorgeous. All this bullshit, right? And then what happens as they grow older, as new generations come along, because the truth is most women are, are, are at their peak attraction, let's say in their early 20s. As they grow older, what, they, what women become is far more fearful of competition. This is why you'll see a woman who's a bit older go, oh, you know, I really want monogamy. What she's scared of is her dude getting a 21-year-old. That's what she's fucking scared uh -oh. of. She may not know it. She uh -oh. may not say it. But basically, that's what the truth is. Because she knows a 21-year-old is going to be more desirable, higher status, more fertile. That's what she's scared of. Cheating so when is woman, bad when you're 30 uh, so, or 20, sir. So, no, but I'm not, it's not about that. What the fuck? Dude, this woman has, this woman is fucking clueless. Like, honestly, she shouldn't have even been there. I'm telling you the 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 shift in the female mentality because when a female is 20, she doesn't give a fuck about any of this. She doesn't want to find the nice man. Now she's trying to, like you're saying, chasing a lifestyle, chasing Mr. Promiscuous, chasing Mr. Famous. Doesn't give a shit until she starts getting scared. Oh shit! Oh uh, my my age begins with three now, and then Ooh. they change their mentality. Changes. It's a fear element. That's can the reality, I, and I it's a biological that? fear element. I'll give you an example of it. You know what's amazing about humans? We are still very primal. If when when men like these two and me, when we walk through the mall, people just move. It's like you can sense when you can sense when the big animals turn up, right? It's something amazing about humans. If you have a very yeah, um, yeah, she just wanted to say something. Yeah, Denalva's an airhead. Like, dude, she says a whole lot of nothing. She makes no sense. She doesn't make any sense. I don't even know. I I have no idea how the hell she even ended up on this podcast. Like, she's about as useful as Tori. Very attractive 45-year-old woman. She's gorgeous. But a gorgeous 19-year-old walks in. Look at that 45-year-old woman's face. That's right. She's furious. That's right. She fucking <laughs> yeah. hates her. She yep. just doesn't like her for no reason. Yeah. Because women understand, un un unfortunately, unfortunately, but you're innately, your age is a massive indicator in your value. That's right. In an inverse way to men, men are more valuable as we get older. Every man, every woman knows that. Every yep. woman will sit here and go, That's yeah, right. I want an old man who's older than me. Of course. But if, we, if I say it the other way around, I'm a misogynistic. It's just the reality of the world. So, so then we have to go into the other point. The point is this. When you were at your peak value, you had zero interest in monogamy. But then you find a man who's 35 at his peak value. He's finally struggled and, and worked because he was 19. No now, you want, now you want him to have one piece of candy, and that one piece of candy is you girl spoke to him when he was 23 he was broke when he was 24 he had no life experience when he was 25 he couldn't fuck when he was 20 whatever he finally gets to the point where he's now at his peak value he at 35 is you when you were 19 Woo! and then you're sitting there saying wow there it is i've said that before 
I have said that before. I've said that before. A 35-year-old guy, a 35-year-old man, is the same as a 19-year-old woman. The same thing. You are at the dawn. You are at the dawn of your sexual prime. To him, no, you should be a monogamous. Da -da. It's like, well, you fucking weren't. You did whatever you wanted in your peak. Now I'm finally got there. And I had to work for my shit. God right. gave you, you God and L'Oreal yes. gave Thank you you. you. I had you. to fucking struggle. I had to go through hell to get on this yacht. You got on the yacht with an Instagram DM. I had to buy it. And now you're telling Oh my God, dude, this is straight fucking fire. Wow. Telling me I need to fucking settle down and, and behave hell and grow no. up? no. Fuck well, you. Oh, hell, hell no. no. There you go. There you go. Women talk about monogamy all the time. They talk about monogamy all the time. But when they were 19, 20, 21, 22 years old, they weren't monogamous. When they were at their sexual peak, they fucked anything with a Y chromosome and a six pack. But then when men reach a certain status, now you want us to be monogamous? How do you expect us to be monogamous at our peak if you weren't monogamous at your peak? Fuck out of here. Because it's bullshit. You're assuming that the journey is a man that starts with nothing to something because there's a lot of men that, that is have That's exactly to... the journey of every man on earth. Do we you? are born Damn without well. you. Right. Do you? Uh... Thank you. Thank you. Women are born, men are made. Women have e w women are born with everything they need to get everything they need. Men, when we are just like Andrew said, we are absolutely useless. Men are useless to society until we're until we're 21, and when we're and and the only reason why we're use, the only reason why we're useful at 18, 21 years old, is because we're 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 young and strong. Fuck out of here with that, man. Ah, do you think so there's there's specificity in that Can I just because that's not how it should be you, for everybody, you, and that's not how it is for everybody. Dude, this bitch makes no sense. What is she talking about? And not for every woman either, as well. May I just say? Can I ask Brittany something, please? Um, you know, like, oh, then you you've learned in the past. Mm -hmm. And now you want to find someone to settle, to settle down. With hindsight now, would you have reversed it Woo! and like started young looking for someone to settle down? Here we go. Here comes the female ego. Here comes the female ego. My mother once told me, my mother once told me, for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with my story, uh, my mother blew up, she blew up our family. She blew up our family um, she, you know, she's married to my dad for 16 years, five beautiful children. I'm the oldest of five. We're all hyper talented, intelligent, all that stuff, whatever. She, it, she detonated our family to chase after a bad boy. She did. Right. And in doing so, she literally left us with our incapable father. She did this. She abandoned her. She abandoned her motherly duties at a time when we really needed us during our most formative years to 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 indulge in a selfish expedition to try to find uh, to, uh, to 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 try to chase this bad boy to this day to this day there is there there is complicated tension between my mother and the five of us you know there, i mean with different there are different degrees of this of this tension but it is there nonetheless it is there nonetheless. Years later, years later, I actually had my mother move in with me because she she had fallen on hard times. And we were talking back and forth about the shit that she did. I was visibly upset. I was visibly upset. I was visibly upset. I asked her, I said, Mom, if you had to do it again, would you have done it differently? She told me no. She said, nope, I would do everything exactly the same. To her son... In his house, knowing I could just kick her ass the fuck out. She still did that. She still said I would I would do I, I would still do it again. That was absolute bullshit. Of course she would do things differently. But her ego won't allow her to admit that she fucked up. Now we have Brittany Renner. She just Aunt, Auntie Jenny just asked her, if you had to do it again, would you do it? Shout out to Vic Bynum with another two dollar, uh, five dollar super. That says Top G cooking, ain't he? Yep. I would be very interested to see what this answer is. Here we go. And we're looking for those values that now you know. I'm talking that with hindsight. Okay. Well, I've I actually from 18 to 22, I was in a relationship. I've always actually been a lover girl. To Sweetie, just answer the question. Just answer the question, Brittany. Like nobody cares about your story. 
You can tell us that you were this and that at 18 years old, sweetie. Come on. Would you do it again, yes or no? Like, just get Despite to what it. I put out online for, you know, I've never views. seen you online. Yeah, <laughs> that's so. fine. Well, that's even better. Um, I have always wanted one person, and I feel like I was so delusional in thinking that, oh, I'm, I'm, like you said, like, I have value, I'm beautiful, I'm this, I'm at my peak, like, why wouldn't you want to be with me? So, a lot, going into these relationships, or just like, I'm sorry, just people, uh -huh. my goal was always to get commitment. Like, I'm giving you my time. I'm pouring into you because I want commitment. And the reality is I'd never had, I'd never really understood my value. Land the plane, so I was Brittany. going through guys, giving up sex, doing this, Answer and it, question, it didn't make Brittany. sense. So I believe in like, I stay on everything I do. Like yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't do apology tours. There it, is. it is what it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. See that? There it is. There's that ego. There's that ego. I stand on everything I did. I don't do apology tours. I'm a top G. I don't regret shit. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Of course you regret it. Of course you regret it. She regrets the fuck out of it. Look where she is. Look where she is. She says, I don't do apology tours. Sweetheart, that is literally exactly what you are doing. You are doing a pity tour. Feel sorry for me. It wasn't my fault that I was a slut. It wasn't my fault that I slept around. Now she's trying to tell people that she misrepresented herself on purpose, that she faked it till she made it. I was pure of heart, but people called me a slut, so I figured, eh, I'll give him something to talk about. This is bullshit. Of course she regrets it. But just like my mother, all those years ago, she cannot admit fault. She cannot say, you know what? I fucked up. I would do things differently. Women can't say it. They can't do it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, Black Lemur 2009 says she doesn't do apology tours, but she does the but she does the not a hoe tour. Yeah, that's exactly right. And I think that's where I feel like when it, when they talk about women being delusional and all these other things, it is true because what you have to understand yeah. is that there are repercussions to your decisions, which is fine. Mm -hmm. So then you're talking about, okay, well, I want this type of guy. I want this, that, and that. You're talking about maybe monogamy. That's three to 5% of animals are monogamous. I think that's what it is, mm -hmm. right? So the, your window is really, really small for what you're looking for. And even to go on to the point where you said where you were talking about, it's like a subconscious fear. I think it's like, for me, I feel like if, if it was more of a fear, I would have just stayed in my situation. Like, it, it wouldn't have made sense. Like, I mean, that was my first kid. I, I thought I waited and did it right. Hmm. I left. No, you didn't wait and do anything right, sweet cheeks. You didn't wait and do it right. She was fucking Jamal Murray before she got with PJ Washington. That's facts. She told Pearl, I was talking to somebody on the Denver Nuggets. I was talking to somebody on the Denver Nuggets when I met PJ. No, you didn't do it right. You were already a hoe before you got to PJ Washington, sweet cheeks. Because I believe that there's something else on my heart when it comes to love, and I'm just going to have to trust that. And if that means being alone, having a dog, I have to take that chance because the Bentley, the ring, the house, and still getting, again, deceived, right? Mm. Disrespected because deceit. Deceived. Listen to her. Now she's making excuses. I was tricked. I was tricked. I was just a small town girl from Alabama, just looking to make a, just looking to make her way in the big scary city of Los Angeles. I was just innocent and naive. I didn't, dude. This bitch it is disrespect, right? <laughs> so, I just, I cannot settle for that. I can't suck a dick and shut up. And that is where a lot of people don't like my views and what I represent. Mm -hmm. And that's why you're single because you can't, you can suck a dick, but you can't shut up. This woman continues to double down. She's she it's double talk. It wasn't my fault that I did X, Y, and Z, but I don't regret it. But I'm not capable of sucking a dick and shutting the fuck up. Christ. Uh, shout out to Allie D in the chat. Uh, Allie says we must be related. I knew Donovan was Puerto Rican. What did I do that was Puerto Rican? <laughs> Dude, Puerto Rican women are absolutely the worst. Because it is something new. I don't know how it's going to fucking end. I, I, so I don't know what's going to I do. I know exactly how it's going to end. And so does she. What Brittany just told us, what Brittany just told us is that I have to believe. I have to believe that there is someone out there for me so I can sleep at night. That's literally what she just said. All this, I have to believe that there's something inside of me, sweetie. Like, you have to hang on to the dream. You have to. 
You have to. Brittany Renner is coming to the she is coming to the realization that she had chance after chance after chance to settle down and just be happy. But because her ego, her ego made her think that her vagina was somehow dipped in gold and somehow special. <gasps> How dare he stick his dick in another chick? I'm out of here. And now look at you. You're in wife school with a woman who with you're in wife school with a woman who had no idea what the hell YouTube was when you were even on Instagram. Unbelievable. Blackest Panther, $5, says she does not regret her actions. It's the consequences that's got her reeling. Wow. Very good. Very good. Uh, Shane Will Win with the $5 Super Chat says, calling on my inner Pogson emotional damage. Uh, DeRay Davis says, Mississippi Don, that's, she said, she said that, that's what she said. I'm just a small town girl from Mississippi. I'm just a small country girl. I don't know nothing. So happen. what would you tell your 17, if you had to like, what would you tell your 17-year-old self? Uh -oh. Knowing what you know now. Uh -oh. Looking back and you had to meet yourself at uh -oh. 17. What would do you tell your, your what would you tell yourself? Like lock it down and wait for the right man. Don't have sex. What would you tell your 17 year old self? Mm. Oh, this is good. That the answers aren't outside of you because I feel like I'd always look for men to answer all of my questions that I've ever had. I thought when I had a man, it would complete me, complete me. And I feel like too, um, especially with like my dad not being in my life, you look for somebody to guide me. Like, so that's where for me, I put too much value in, someone else having the answers for me. Mm -hmm. So that, that doesn't make any sense. That does not make any sense. What does make sense is that, well, she has daddy issues. She has daddy issues. Guys, I say this all the time. Women are incapable of self-love. They are. It's impossible. Women are incapable of self-love. A woman cannot love herself unless a man loves her first. And proof of this is in the actions of women who are raised without fathers. This is why women with daddy issues, yes, Shane will win, says Cope. Yeah, she is absolutely drinking that Coca-Cola right now. She's drinking that Coca-Cola. When a young girl, the first love, the first love, the first love every little girl should have is her father. That should be her first love. When a little girl grows up with a, a strong masculine father who loves her, guides her, protects her, she doesn't give her body away because she already has it in her mind that she is high value. Women are born with value, that's for sure. But it's only it only crystallizes if she's raised by a strong masculine father who is a leader. Women with value are children with dynamite. But women are incapable of loving themselves unless a man loves her first. It is exactly the same as a queen. A woman can't become a queen without a king. A king has to appoint her as his queen. That's the way it works. Brittany clearly did not have self-love because she didn't have a father. And she sought fatherly love, advice, and guidance through dick. This is what women with daddy issues do. 85% of men in prison were raised by a single mother. 75% of strippers were raised without a father. Like these statistics are out there for a reason. We tell guys all the time, stay away from women with daddy issues. It sucks, and it's not their fault. But you can't save these hoes. You can't save these hoes. Brittany clearly has daddy issues. She's always going to have daddy issues. That's why I'm really big on accountability. So I, I would just tell myself, like, to be patient, to take your time. Because I was always quick. Oh, let's try to get in a relationship. Like, we weren't even compatible. There's a lot of just not compatible factors. So, so now she wants us to think that she hopped from cock to cock looking for relationships. She wants us to think that she actually thought Drake was going to commit to her. She, she, she wants us to think, she wants us to think that Tyga, she actually thought that Tyga was going to put a ring on it. She actually thought, she actually thought that Colin Kaepernick was going to take her seriously. Unbelievable. So I feel like for me, it would be to slow down and to really get to know people instead of just blind. Brittany, it's too late for that. You don't have time, man. You don't have time. The time to slow down and get to know people was what you should tell your 17-year-old self. She still hasn't answered the question. No one's going to, dude, no one, dude, no one is going to feel sorry for a woman who wrote an, who wrote an expose who wrote an expose talking 
about her sexual exploits with famous men. Take a look at your screen, guys. Kevin Gates. This is Brittany Renner's dating history. Kevin Gates. This nigga's got... This nigga's got face tattoos. Face tattoos, y'all. Did Brittany really think that this guy was relationship material? PJ Washington, that speaks for itself. Did she really think... Did she really think Jamal Murray was going to take her seriously? Of course not. That's why she started talking to P.J. Tucker while in a in a situationship with Jamal Murray. Did she really think? Did she really think that James Harden was going to settle down with her? Did she really think that Drake was going to start a family with her? Lil Uzi Vert? Ben Simmons? Tyga? Chris Brown? Really? Trey Songs? Oh, you're trying to get in a relationship? No! You knew these men... We're not looking for a relationship. You threw yourself on countless cocks because you could. I don't want to hear, uh, let's hurry up and get in a relationship. If you were so interested in a relationship, you'd still be in one. Unbelievable. Finally banking on potential that most likely will never be tapped into or selling myself short because there's a fear of, well, I don't know. This could be the best that I could get. I might as well just suck up, shut up and suck a dick. And, and that's, what, that's what I meant about, about women nowadays. Because so what would you tell your 17-year-old self, Brittany? That was a bunch of word salad. Uh, Martel Lamar, $5, has had the baby right away but wasn't married. Make that make sense. Exactly what you'd be telling your 17-year-old self. There it is. Thank you. I'm glad she reiterated. Vic Vinum, Vinum, another $5 Super Chat, says, I remember when you were on Fresh and Fit with Tommy and you said that statement that women are incapable of loving themselves, that was a mic drop. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was quite entertaining. Blackest Panther, welcome to chat privileges. <laughs> At Blackest Panther to welcome him back to the TSR family. Blackest Panther, if you would, put your age and location in the chat is what happened back in the day. So when I'm repeating mm -hmm. these things, I'm going, to, oh, you're old-fashioned. But it seems like women do what they like, yep. and then they hit a certain age and say, oh, we've got to settle. Yep. But it's not settling. You're just getting whatever you can. That's it. You know, or whatever well, you deserve. There it is. You know what, because auntie? if you think back now, you'd be telling people now, rather than say that auntie's old-fashioned or auntie don't know what she's talking about, look what she'd be telling her 17-year-old self, which ain't nothing that I already said. Yeah, Because that's fine. really and truly, you know what, yeah. really and truly, let me finish, let me finish. Because what I've always said, and you can check, I'm an older version of you. So where you've been, uh oh, I've already been on a comeback. So that's mm -hmm. why I asked you, what would you what tell would your 17-year-old self? There it is. Because me telling you. And she doubled down. She doubled down. You is, I'm telling my 30-year-old self. Mm -hmm. Do you understand where I'm there coming we go. from? See that? So okay. it's not that I'm old fashion. It's just that women hit a certain age and then realize, oh, my God, it wasn't that old fashioned. You there know, you it works mm. because it does. Mm -hmm. But there's no point in waiting until you're a certain age 30. to start thinking about it. You know, even if you're like, you hold your own accountability. So it's like if you meet somebody and they were like 17, 18, and you saw them acting a certain way, they ask you for advice. You won't say do as I do. You say, listen, right, this is what happened to me. And this is what I thought. And what I recommend you do is blah, blah, blah. There you go. Am I, I right or am I wrong? There we are. Ask Thank you for you. advice. No, I totally get what you're saying. Like, yeah. I, I totally agree with that. I, I think that no matter what you decide to do, you have to accept whatever repercussions come behind mm -hmm. that. So any advice that I give to anybody is do what you want, but just know there are repercussions, good, bad, or indifferent, that mm -hmm. are going to come behind it. So, I mean, and I think that... Dude, that... Dude, she literally said nothing. Do what you want, but there are going to be consequences, good, bad, or indifferent. <laughs> When you say there are going to be consequences, good, bad, or indifferent, that means literally nothing. And she keeps she keeps saying that she's big on accountability. That's just, dude, that's just, that's just talk. She's not big on accountability because she's been dodging accountability since the start. That's just where I'm at. I don't even think it's like an age thing. I think it's like. Uh, yes, it is. Like, in reality, I have, a, I have a son. And you really start asking yourself questions. And again, I, I hate that it took having a child to really look into my life and call myself out on my bullshit. So but if you, okay, but if you got pregnant earlier, if you got pregnant at 18, 19, would it? I was always on birth control. Okay. I was on birth control for a decade. I got off birth control. Oh my God. Wow. Holy shit, man. Holy smokes. Are you kidding me? She's been on birth control. She'd been on birth control for a decade. Dude, no wonder. No wonder this bitch is crazy because the person I was with wanted to have a baby. Okay. So, so um, again, I thought I did it right. Clearly not because I wasn't married, but um, it still didn't work out because it just wasn't my guy. Mm -hmm. So that's where I just think like even... It didn't work out because that wasn't my guy. There we are. 
I decided to have a baby, but yeah, it didn't work out because it wasn't my guy. And if I still would have taken it slow, there just were a lot of people that just were genuinely not my person. And yeah. that's okay. Hmm. Uh, I would just speaking like, of speaking yeah, of marriage, um, I wanted to know: Do you think we're in a post-marriage society? Mm. Because on one hand, um, we hear that women should wait till they're married to have sex, but at the same time, we also hear from the men that they don't want to get married anymore. There you go. So, what do we do with that? Same. And the reason why men don't want to get married anymore is because we is, is, because, is because number one. It's a bad proposition, but number two, we no longer have to be married to get sex. I think it's quite simple. It's like it's true because nowadays a lot of people are looking at marriage as a contract rather than a partnership. Sweetie, that's because it is a contract. It is a contract, sweetheart. It is a contract that is strictly enforced. This woman has, I don't know why she's on the podcast. I think, I think she just wants to disagree with people. Yep. And there's a huge difference between that because with a contract, there are so many terms and many headaches and this and that. And well, it is, a, it is a contract. Well, yeah. well that's Thank why. you. Yeah. But Thank that's you. because it, that is what it is now because realistically, the traditional sense of marriage is not a contract really in terms of the law. Once the law is involved, that's when everything went tits up, I think. No shit, Sherlock. Oh my, oh, you know what? Let me give her a Don DeMarco. Oh my God, dude! This woman just all she does is just run off at the mouth. Ay ay ay. Yeah. So the the problem is, is that there's zero advantage to marriage in the Western world for a legally man. There is zero statistical advantage if you use your mind, if you use your head instead of your heart, and you look at the advantages to getting married. There are absolutely not really none. Nope. Because this new idea of new age feminism just basically destroys all men in the idea or in the event of her leaving. And, and it's very common that women leave, right? Yeah, they're paid to let's, leave. Let's stop the man versus woman attack, et cetera, et cetera. Life's difficult for everybody. We all have different challenges, different things to go through. But if a woman marries a man and it goes wrong, she has emotional heartbreak. Fine. But if it, a man marries a woman and it goes wrong, he has emotional heartbreak. Plus, Thank you. everything he has ever worked for is ripped out from underneath him. And he has to give that chick money forever. In some places, so, you don't even have to be married. Exactly. That's why there the men go. don't want to live with the women. Thank anymore. you. That's right. So Thank when you, you make these rules and these laws, right, under the guise of feminism and equality, all this garbage, all you're doing is scaring men away from commitment. And then you have to add in the other hidden element. And the other hidden element is what I said earlier is whose fault a lot of this is, is promiscuous women, right? There you go. Thank so you. So when society is broken down, if women were saying, if all women got together and said, we'll only have sex after marriage, guess what men would do? Get married. We but get you don't. being. Oh my, dude, this is, dude, this is music in my ears. Told you, told you, I told you guys. Right. So now you're in Miami. I go to Miami. I can fuck anything in the club. I don't have to marry any of them. Nope. If I marry them, I get wrecked. Yep. So, so like, why get married? We're going to use our brains here. What mm -hmm. am I going to do? Well, I'm mm -hmm. going to be like, well, no, bounce, see ya, no, no. So men have been scared away from the idea of marriage. And that's a lot of that is the fault of this new bullshit law and this new feminism and this new crap. They don't give men any tactical advantage. And I'm talking about small things. A man's not even allowed to be a man in his own house. Right. You know, in England, you will get accused of emotional abuse. I can marry a woman, not lay a hand on her. I can just raise my voice to her. That's emotional abuse. Unbelievable. I can raise my voice to her because she's going out drinking with dudes. She can go out drinking six nights a night and week with men. And I can say, what the fuck? You're my wife. Sit down. She can call the cops, call me emotionally abusive. I get arrested now. Now there's a court case against me. I have to go to court and defend myself. She'll divorce me, take my house. I have to sell my car because she's drinking vodka with fucking God knows who. But you notice that what, It's insane. What do you, what do you, what do you think of, what do you think of child support? <laughs> And that's another interesting thing because a lot of these arguments. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, we're gonna pick. Uh, we're about halfway through. We are about halfway through uh, this um, this particular um, uh, interview. I'm gonna break this up. I'm gonna break this up into two. I'm gonna break this up into uh, into two parts. Um, I've done. I did. I did a, a six hour podcast one time. It was not fun. Like it was fun, but. Three hours, I think. I think three hours is my limit. Uh, Jen says Denova is just placed there as a shitster. Absolutely, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share the video if you like my content. Um, <clears throat> also, be sure to download the Sharp Stream app if you want to be notified when I go live. I know that most of my subscribers are not are not getting notifications. Just download the Sharp Stream app and enable the push notifications, and you will be notified when I go live 
on any platform, including my own. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, be sure to get your hands on Happy Hippo Kratom. Go to the link in the description. Use promo code HTR to get 15% off. Uh, Happy Hippo Kratom has been instrumental in helping me to quell my violent temper. Uh, my guess is that if I had found Happy Hippo Kratom maybe a few years sooner, I would have a few less felonies on my record. Don't be like me. Use promo code HTR to get 15% off of Happy Hippo Kratom. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Sorry about that. Um, uh, hell of a podcast. Hell of a podcast, guys. Um, thank you guys very, very much uh, for tuning in. Um, like I said, we are going to pick up. We're going to pick up on. Uh, we're going to pick up right where we left off. Uh, right where we left off tomorrow. And uh, this has been. This has been absolute. This has been absolutely fascinating. This has been absolutely fascinating. I've got to get my passport renewed because uh, Devin and I are going to be flying out to. Uh, we're going to be flying out to London. Uh, here within the next couple of months or so. So um, looking forward to that. Congratulations to Pearl. Uh, again, I support Pearl 100%. Um, fuck all the haters. Fuck all the haters. Um, uh, fuck all the haters. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, at the end of the day, Pearl is Pearl helps men, either directly or indirectly, by bringing these conversations to the forefront. You, we, guys, we are seeing in real time. We're seeing in real time the scourge of feminism and the effect that it has on both men and women. And whether it's a man or a woman at the helm of a podcast that is bringing that to you is immaterial. It's immaterial. Uh, Pearl has haters because they, pearls have hater. Pearl has haters because she is doing what they can't do. That's all. That's all there is to it. Uh, have a safe and merry Christmas. I will see you guys uh, same bat time, same bat channel tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys all very very much for your continued support. Sign up uh, for my patron at patreoncom Donovan Sharp or Sharp. Oh, Thank you.